the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away with this. No! Say, hey, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts. The Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. This is episode 1151. We're doing it live. 1151. Back again for all of you to enjoy. We got Patreon guest Liquid Skelly on the line with us. This is going to be an amazing yes. show. I hope all of you will give the stream a like. Also, uh, you know, support the show while getting yourself something good through Vance Global. There's a link in the description. You can get 20% off your order by using our link and code PEASANTS at checkout. You can get a cool, like, vape battery like this thing that I got here. They sent it to me. I recommend you all try it out. Go there and check it out. Support the show. Get yourself something good. Um, wow. We... Uh, I want to let everyone know that we're doing our first Patreon private show of the month on Friday. You can sign up now, patreon.com slash DP, the $5 level. We'll get you two private shows that have not yet happened so far this month. The one we're doing on Friday is who is worse? Who is worse oh. between Trumpster Bob and Brett Keen? Ooh, we this will, is going to be interesting. We will determine five factors... And let you, the audience, vote on each of those five factors to answer the question, who is worse? There's a lot of opinions, but there's only one correct answer. And we know the answer, I mean, but we're not going to spoil it. But hold on. But Brett, as far as I know, has had mac and cheese before. All we see T-Bob is with the box of mac and cheese. But it could be empty. Well, see, yeah, exactly. It has to be empty because it's on the wall. That's when he ate it. That might be what it comes down to, the, the, the mac and cheese fal falcon. He might have made macaroni art with it and not eaten it. He's ah, got like a see. necklace he gave to his Nigerian scammer girlfriend. He made out of macaroni and macrame. Then we know at least <laughs> his heart is a winner or his cholesterol level. <laughs> I see a lot of opinions out there. Some people say Bob. Some people say manatee. It's, it's a tough one. I made sure to use a picture of the manatee from his blue period where he was using a lot of blue light. And Bob uh, has a little bit of Kentucky blue in him. He's got a little bit of uh, syphilis in his face or something. A little arthritic syphilitic man. Yeah. There's something going on. I, I randomly uh, no. was in Lisa's Discord the other night and he was in there. Oh. And he, and he, called, he called out my butthole. He wanted to see it. He called it out. Yeah, he was like, get in the voice chat on my Discord if you're willing to prove that your butthole's tight. He just wants to look at a butthole. Like, yeah. Yeah. God, you almost took the butthole challenge? I mean, People he was, have. He was trying to get me to like go to his server, and I just I just ghosted him. It's like it's like he met you at a bar trying to get you to go to his hotel room. Tip train or windy time, bay bay. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing all the pickup lines didn't work. Did he try to neg you? I, 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 that probably was what he was doing. I mean, why else would he be talking so poorly about a man's anus unless he wanted to be up inside of it? Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, sorry. I almost did not make this podcast. So, so you might be wondering, what is this going on here? Well, see, so I figured, uh, you know, mystical creatures, stuff, whatever. I was doing a favor with the Cupid, right? So figured might as well, fuck it, you know, got to have Cupid on your side every once in a while. So I decided to just randomly go down the list. And apparently I found like the only incel on that list. So here I am, crawl, here I am floating into his basement and I was about to just do the arrow, you know, do this man a favor. Then all of a sudden he starts screaming about something about not needing 3D waifus anymore. And 2D was the bestie. And uh, as you can see, uh, we have a casualty behind me. You killed um, a waifu I, pillow? 
Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> and On he Valentine's just ran Day? Off. But, but, thankfully, he has excellent rig, gaming rig, with a camera. So at first, I was like, ah, I'm going to miss the show. But then I realized, hey, I just do it here. Why not? Fuck it. So you He's murdered his wife pillow, and then you looted his computer to do the show. I mean, one could phrase it that way. Well, there you go. We're glad to have you, Liquid Skelly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Simple Country says, don't be putting Kentucky Blue in, Bob. Kentucky is shitty enough. We don't need to take blame for that. Aren't the Kentucky Blue people the, the people that are literally blue and they thought it was incest, but it turned out to be the water? Is, I believe, yeah, they had like weird blue skin. That, that Yeah, poor blue people. We're going to watch as many of the Super Bowl 57 commercials as we can get through Everyone here. Everyone knows double D is the best D. D, 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 D. We're going we're gonna to go through them, and we'll give our uh, thumbs up or down on each one. We'll see uh, you know, if it was enjoyable, funny, interesting in any way, or if it was just trash. Here we go. We're, we're diving in now. So this is this uh, new movie coming out with yeah. the guy who plays Kylo Ren. Yeah, he goes back in time to fight dinosaurs. And I think that's his so daughter. It's, it's almost like Turok the movie or something. 65 million years ago. You know, I'm so ago. glad this is, not, this is not very loud because otherwise I'm guessing the waz would be deafening right about now. They do the waz a lot. They, li they like to hit that sub... Boost wah, 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 wah. So, uh, I mean, it's a trailer. I guess whatever. I give a thumb up just because, like, it's a trailer. It's from the writers of The Quiet Place. I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I like how he has laser machine guns. Exclusively in movie theaters, March Yeah. All right, so this is like the... Because that wasn't really a Super Bowl caliber commercial. Yeah, quite that was as just much. a bumper. A, a that was the yeah. trailer bumper. Yeah, so this one is... It's, it's, uh, it has... Diddy in it, whatever his name is, Sean Combs. Puffy P. Diddy, Puffy Combs, Sean Combs. Thinking a song mm. could really put Uber One on the map. <clears throat> is Uber One Uber for air, uh, airplanes, do private planes? Of course, no, of course not. It's not a jingle. It's one song for Uber One. Diddy don't do jingle. So this is one of those Super Bowl commercials that's in multiple parts. So uh, in a little while later, I guess they're playing these in chronological order as mm. they were played the night of the Super Bowl. So later on, we'll find out because like Diddy's like, oh, man, I don't want to do a, di a jingle. Confident about what you scarred about says Adam Driver in drama. shirtless in his movie. Dude, I, that's actually the, the spoiler alert. The dinosaurs get defeated because he takes his shirt off and they get horny. And start humping themselves to death. That's how they went extinct. Nope. Why not ask the most confident person you know? My old high school coach. Just say, show me the The most confident out. person you know? My old <laughs> high school coach. That's the most pathetic thing I think I've ever heard. Huh? We'll get the most accurate price the vehicles My old high school coach literally up. used to stare at the girls' crotches. He'd be high. He'd have everybody do like the leg split thing, and he'd be high just staring into the girls' crotches. Eventually, I'm pretty sure he got fired for doing it. He was Actually, a total piece of trash. My middle school teacher, uh, my middle school teacher, got his ass kicked by my dad when they were young. Did you? And so I, I always had that. It's like uh, so apparently, apparently he was a drunk asshole. So. He didn't get much better with age, by the way. All new Carfax.com. Start with a bang. Mix it to star power. And turn up loose. Oh, yeah. So, another whatever. They're just advertising the Daytona 500. Daytona makes money. I, I love that point in time where Daytona was like pro trans, uh, pro, pro like LGBTQ issues, and Harry Potter was against it. There was that moment in time where we realized that the, the, the <laughs> Daytona 500 was more woke than all the fucking wizards in Hogwarts. <laughs> well, last time I checked, uh, Daytona 500 doesn't use slavery. I'm clicking around the Yet. screen, but I can't seem to find the skip ad button. <laughs> yeah, this is skip ad the episode. What is this show? It's got uh, Theo from the Cosby show yeah. in it. I'm going to fix this. Oh, and Michael Chiklis? Accused. 
Is it about Bill Cosby? Uh, it's got Michael Schickless in it. Oh yeah, here's uh, this Gordon Ramsay thing. What the hell? His new uh, his new reality game show competition. So is he just combining? Uh, yes. Oh. It's like, oh, we did this show and we did that show. And now we're going to do a combo of this and that show together as one show. So what is this? Never this is like Hell's Kitchen and uh, whatever, Master Chef or whatever the other well, one Master was. Chef and Hell's Kitchen, weren't they the same thing already? This is in a box. They even like did a Hotel Hell thing where they even have a little building there, too. Well, that was what Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, that was like Kitchen Bowl Nightmares. Yeah. Flash trailer. No, it it Hotel Hell was cool another one Michael where he Keaton did Batman Hotel stuff, Management. But show enough that I sort of now know how it will end. Right, oh. Hotel Hell was a hotel version of Kitchen Nightmares. Kitchen Nightmares, yeah. he'd go to a shitty restaurant and try to fix it, and sometimes it wouldn't work, and sometimes it would. And Hotel Hell was just the hotel version of that. Was Hotel yeah. Hell what Nick Fuentes was doing with the black light in his friend's bedroom? Was that I don't think that did? was in a hotel. <laughs> oh, well, the, the, you know how they do the hotels where they do the if black lights? Was that woke, what they did on that you show? Transcend into Nirvana. Yeah, they did actually. That's what the so. Buddha uh, said. If you become too woke, you transcend into Nirvana, so it's a Kurt Cobain for everybody. That's not good. Ooh. This is some new... Oh, yeah. Like family treasure? Yeah, yeah, they're bringing the, those guys back. And Cops is coming back? They're like, hey, well, Cops black has been back. This Roseanne... I, I think, Whoa. actually, I think this is Fox's new streaming service, I believe. They're that going they're hard. Yeah, yeah, they're they like, brought okay, back Roseanne. Yeah, BLM, they're like, we're going to cancel cops because black lives matter. They're like, like Duck Dynasty's going to get canceled because old racist white men shouldn't have a voice. They're like, Roseanne's going to get canceled. Fox is like, fuck you. We're bringing them all back. <laughs> we're giving them all new contracts. <laughs> I wish is... I could say that's new, but that is not. How come I know? Once again, my dad, I love him to death, but that is, that is one of his exclusive streaming platforms. So, yeah. Fire At least I can see cops. Okay, here we go. Welcome to <laughs> Fox Nation. Yeah. So wow. this is their this is their paid streaming service. Interesting. So they, yeah, mm -hmm. they're like the only streaming platform that would make a comedy special for Roseanne. They they seriously were like, okay, let's sell all of our liberal shit to Disney, and that'll free us up to pour hatred onto the nation. Let's go. <laughs> There's a big market for this. Like, uh, If I was Ben Shapiro, I would immediately be trying to sell my Gina Carano movie to this streaming service. I'd be like, would you please put some money in this service that only 342 people paid for? Even they have standards. I guess oh my god! Oh my god! This is the this is like the Bachelor for cowboys. Is what you know this what? is right here. It hasn't worked out for me. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's it's literally like it's a it's a dating reality show, and I, I believe the twist is that all the guys are cowboys, but the ladies are like city girls, city slickers. Yeah. Wait, what, what was that one dating website? Like Farmers? Farmersonly.com. Farmers? It's going to be harder than I thought it was going to be. Farmer wants a wife. My good. They definitely didn't let any kneeling happen at the Super Bowl this year. With all these commercials I'm seeing. So the U.S. for some reason the NFL is pushing the the USFL as the off season league. Not one mention of the XFL during this whole thing, which starts in like a week. The XFL season starts in like a week. Wasn't NBC run the XFL? Probably. Yeah, that makes. Yeah, sense. this is Fox. They're, they probably got the USFL contract. Right? No, it is on NBC. Oh so wow! The USFL okay. used to skip the Western dating garbage. The U, the uh, <laughs> the USFL was old school like it existed back in the day yeah um okay so nbc's gonna run this as well yeah, and xfl is coming i didn't I, I wasn't sure who uh oh this is this is huge too this is gonna make youtube boys, a ton of money boys, what you're gonna do what you're oh, gonna yeah. do when the cops comes back all cops are bad, but cops is good. Huh. <laughs> Got but that yeah, right, Teddy. You, you two is going to make a ton of money off of this. Oh, my God. I am now for racist Ambien trying to cancel her in the 90s for spitting when she sang the <laughs> national anthem. Right. That's hilarious. And she grabbed her, her vajayjay when she did that, too, during the national anthem. She, like, Wait. grabbed herself and spit on the ground. Um, are we talking about hypocrisy? I never. Never. So... 
Back in the day, this shit was only available through like cable and satellite providers, but now YouTube TV is going to corner the market on this. And YouTube TV. Does this mean you can watch NFL Sunday Ticket? Without so they're, the they're bringing Sunday Ticket, away. which for those of you who don't know, when you have basic cable and you watch football, you only get your local team's games. So when they're, you only get to see those. But with the Sunday ticket, you can watch any of the games live. So if your favorite team isn't the local team, you can watch any team. You can watch your favorite team play, even if they're in another city. So now YouTube's going to carry this because they're evil. Does this mean there's a modern... Uh, I mean, why not? What's this? Uh, Pet Monopolies? It's fine. Does this mean all the players are technically... This is what YouTube actually has wanted for years. They just want to be a cable provider. They like that yeah. better. That's why they got in bed with all of the cable networks on well, I think their the platform. the cable networks wanted to go to YouTube because people are canceling cable. How do you welcome back exactly. a legendary pizza? You build the world's largest pizza. Was it with Mr. Beast? Is this the Mr. Beast commercial? The Big New Yorker. I don't think it was Mr. Beast, but they did donate it. Just $14 for the Big New Yorker? If it was the networks wanting YouTube more than YouTube wanting the networks, YouTube would have never done YouTube TV. They wanted to get in bed with the networks and get that yeah. kind of promotion. People are running. cutting the cable networks, so the cable networks I mean, those want networks, to get those people no, no, back no, 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 again no. through YouTube. I'm not talking about the cable companies. I'm talking about the networks that are on cable TV. Mm -hmm. there, there's a difference. So cutting the cable doesn't make a difference to them because they have Sling and YouTube TV and all that. You're talking about the actual cable companies. The cable companies want to be on the platforms people are using, yes. YouTube is the platform people use. You don't understand what I'm saying. It's I okay. definitely don't, yeah. <laughs> Explain yourself, that, Ben. Like, uh, okay, who so the cable companies are different than the cable networks. Like Comcast is a cable company that you buy mm -hmm. cable. And when they're saying cut the cord, you're cutting the cord for that company but the net the networks that go through those cable companies also have alternative platforms yeah but the the, the network still want to be a part of the biggest show right like i mean if, they have, if that were the case why does youtube want youtube tv because the company you keep i mean uh, networks just want money so they're going to put go anywhere they can cable or no cable is this one of the I'm, drunken peasants here no <laughs> Ram, Honestly, it looks like he was just turn around, just drop the racist slur right then and there. Ooh, I can't. Cute. Magnificently ever after. The Masked Singer returns this Wednesday on Fox. The Masked Singer is probably the greatest singing competition of all time. I've never watched it once. I don't watch it either, but um, I love the car the costumes. This ah. is this is one of those like multi part ads it's who guess who's in the parrot costume and when he revealed later on in the super bowl i didn't even recognize who he was i was like who is that guy hmm. Ooh, who's the parrot Ooh. nobody spoil who the parrot is please i want to see if i can figure out if i know who he is more Transformers? I like how they just use Biggie Smalls. Relax. A Mirage, remember? Rise of the Beast. As I was saying, what is that? What is that one going to be? Is it the, the dinosaur transformers? Go ahead. Gronk, K. Adams, FanDuel TV. So you're kicking a field goal during the Super Bowl live? Yep, the FanDuel kick of destiny. And you're not nervous? Please. Now he's nervous. Yeah. He's not a kicker. He was a tight end. So he's not, you wouldn't expect him to make a kick, honestly. He was like a big, strong guy. Hey, don't worry, guys, but if you have a gambling problem, you can call 1-800. He fine. wrestled, I think, for a minute there, too. Yeah, he was friends with Mojo Raleigh, like childhood friends. The fastest growing sports drink in history. Huh. I've never tried it. I don't know, is it more like Gatorade or is it like an energy drink? 
Okay, hydrate. So it's like a Gatorade type drink. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and they got marker plier at the end. Like, oh, that's good. Then I don't know. Oh yeah. Ooh. His order is a twenty-piece chicken McNugget. He likes a quarter pounder. You're always getting the fillet of fish. I really hope this ad played right. I hope this played right after a Fox ad. Did any lovers go out and get the Cardi B and Offset meal for Valentine's Day? Skills more fries. It's gotta be. It's mine. It's hers. They don't steal. Knowing their order is a sign of loving them. If you're alone on Valentine's Day, it's okay to order the Cardi B and Offset meal and eat it all by yourself. So this is like, oh, these people are such good couples. They know what one another's McDonald's order is. Yeah. Their go-to McDonald's order. Yeah. Animal control. Three guesses why we're here. Oh, this is a new. Uh, that this guy is probably the most successful guy to come out of almost. John live. McHale. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. up there. Him and Bill Nye I are like the soup. Touching that thing, I was. Yeah, yeah, I really like Joe McHale. Seattle used to have like its own version of Saturday Night Live, basically, and Joe McHale was on like the last two seasons. All of the it. skits would be like oh. Seattle-based skits. They'd be talking about yeah. all the neighborhoods here, and it got picked up by Comedy Central. Uh, early on in Comedy Central's rise, so like got some notoriety across the country, and then you like go back and watch it, and you see like a young Joel McHale, yeah, you see Bill Nye the Science Guy, a bunch of other little little nods to now, yeah, Bill, Animal Control. The character Bill Nye the Science Guy started on Almost Live, yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh. Please be our better selves see, here. Yeah, Emily. I'm gonna remember all the partner. weirdo animal control shows now. Like, uh, you know that one with ah, uh, what that guy named Billy? No, other Billy. Ah, uh, ah, Billy the That's Exterminator. The what? Yes, maybe. I've never seen like, what's it. The name of the show? I don't know. I never seen it. I just know there's a Billy the Exterminator, and I assume that could be oh, an yeah. animal control episode. Oh, absolutely. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. He got arrested. Joel oh, drug paraphernalia. Yeah, that makes sense. This lot. Thursday on Fox. Another Daytona 500. Nice. They even have the rainbow flag. They're so progressive. They make Harry Potter look like the Nazis. <laughs> That's exactly. always been their symbol. Oh. All right, Guardians. All right, here's the Guardians of the Galaxy. Everyone get your soy faces ready. But they don't show the actual trailer. They show an advertisement for the trailer that you can watch somewhere else. Yeah. I guess to save money. Yeah, they get a 30-second oh ad God. buy here. They buy a bunch of different f movies. They probably got Ant-Man through it too, right? Maybe. I think, yeah, yeah, they do. I think yeah, they actually do something a little longer for Ant-Man. Because that's coming out this weekend. Yeah. Tracks, it's called a sofa. It's not a bed. I happen to remember my first meeting about meetings and how it just shook my reality there. Apparently, they're now fucking doing it with trailers, too. My God. A meeting about meetings? Yes, meeting gets all uh, meetings. The meeting was about how how we have too many meetings. In the heat on the street, and I'm asking women one. Yes, everyone aware question. there was, re oh, was aware how um, dumb that uh, was. A K-pop band? I have no idea. BMS. I've never heard. I don't corporate know. America. I told you it actually has to do with menopause. Oh, menopause! Yay! Well, then maybe I would say very. Oh no, we're not allowed to see this commercial. Actually, BMS stands for vasomotor symptoms, which is the uh -oh. term for hot flashes and night sweats due to menopause. Oh, that's what's making me hot at night. More like day and night. If you're heated about being over. Heated, go to whatsvms.com. All right, best commercial of the night. Best yeah. commercial of the night. Most useful. VMS. I wonder how many hot grandmas this commercial saved. VMS. What you really you want? You get those VMs up and going. Um. <laughs> so it's a TurboTex commercial. I thought he was snipping weed at first. <laughs> Frank's palm. Is this a masturbation commercial? Don't. He masturbates with a cactus. Do Don't do your taxes. Ooh. Meet with an expert who will do them. Oh, no. yeah. Instead. So you can do. It's funny because TurboTax was originally the do-it-yourself tax service, and now they're like, pay us and we'll do them for you now. Yeah, when you go to like a... Uh, H and R Block or something. They just basically file it on TurboTax right in front of yeah. you. Yeah, like, well, this is all stuff you wrote down on the paper. We're just gonna type it into the machine. Yeah, basically, like, they oh. just use their version of TurboTax. Like, you're not gonna give me any deals or anything. Not well, taxes. did you have COVID this year? One hundred percent expert guaranteed.
But never forget, hey. they're, they're the reasons why we can't, the government can't just do our taxes for us. Yeah, this this meme will never die. It's around. Keyboard no. Cat. Forever. Damn. Damn, Keyboard <laughs> Cat is back. Yep. Oh, this is another ad for the Sunday ticket. They're On pushing YouTube, it hard. They're using all the classic oh, YouTube videos. And in yeah. the After Effects explosion. A modern, simple way to watch. Now that cat's going hard. Mm -hmm. Are they going to bring Charlie Bit My Finger back for the <laughs> next one? David after the <laughs> dentist. Yeah. Fox Sports welcomes you to the following presentation. Charlie took my NFL Sunday pass. Good I thing believe you can watch it on YouTube.com. I believe this TV. is the first year where they stream the Super Bowl live. Uh, it was on Fox's website. Hmm. And they dropped the donuts off of the name? Ben Affleck uh, working the Duncan drive through How can it be this inexpensive and good? I'm just going to have to just give you 10 munchkins. You look a little lost. One second, I'm trying to find the bagels. Do I look familiar? Oh. <laughs> that guy's like, no. Should I be in it or you want to? Oh, it? It'd be funny if he covered up, like, the top of his face and he was like, Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I knew Jennifer Lopez ate a bunch of donuts. It I, just all goes straight to her butt. Though. I like that they got back together. I'm so happy for them. Curse me. Good this this looks, looks, I remember Geely throws the coffee at her. Hey, you want to work all day? <laughs> I got to go, guys. Grab me a glaze. Dominic Toretto. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's the new one. It's back. How do you I think I was still in high school when the first one came is out. Is that Jason Momoa? It is. He's in the new one. Yeah, Money. I think he might be the villain in it. Oh, it looks like it. Choose the ones you save. Let's race. <laughs> These movies are so good. I disagree. Yeah, just turn off your brain. I Don't. disagree. Oh, no, they're terrible. They're terrible movies. John Cena. There's like three Larsons in it, too. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so good. That's so good. Yeah, this is quality. Looks like they filmed it in Italy. Jason Momoa just playing uh, Drag Race Jesus. Evil Drag Race Jesus. Well, Jesus was evil to the Jews, right? No, so they he was them. one. Well, who killed him? The they Romans? I mean, they who killed didn't, Jesus. The Romans. The, he was even the, the Romans then. What's the plan, Dom? I'm not sure anymore. I know Jesus was evil to somebody. The Man, they got all the faces back. The Romans were yeah. occupying. Uh, it was a, They were an occupying force in Israel. So uh, they carried out the execution under Jewish law. Suffering is old. Oh wait, do you know how weird uh oh what's his name? Vin Diesel gets about the fucking mythology of these things? I don't and I wanna know. I I feel like that's probably brilliant stuff. He uh, he is he in fact I think it was even quoted. I remember reading this on Reddit. Oh my god, I know, kill me. But um that he said, oh, now I know why Tolkien stopped writing the Lord of the Rings because writing a mythology is hard. And like <laughs> he actively thinks about the mythology of his of his baby, these Fast and Furious shows. I have to give him credit. If you, mm, I mean, he is a nerd. So, well, is is he writing all of these? Yes, I know they edged well, the know rock out. Oh yeah, because him and yeah, they, they hated each other. Then they went off and did yeah, they 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 had a falling out. You never took my car. See you soon, Tom. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> this is gonna be so good. You like things that are so bad. <laughs> this is this is you watch Egghead's dad's movies not like, because I like them. Well, I watch these movies because I like them. I know that's the problem. I, These are hey, trash. They're fantastic. No, they're they not. are trash, which is why I love them. They're superhero movies where the superpower is family. It's brilliant. 
Scan now while supplies last. This is some mobile game. They don't even tell you what it is. They're just like, yeah, download Scan this virus. Now. I wonder how many people did this because, like, you know, you see gold coins and a <laughs> scanner, and you're going to think maybe if I scan this, Mr. Beast will give me $10,000. People are living their lives right now thinking Mr. Beast is going to save them. But at least that does, at least you know the price side. It's not great Shadow Legend. Definitely not a spot. Uh, uh, Scam now. Free digital collectible. Scam now. It doesn't even tell you what it is. Digi it's a collectible. And Limit and Break. It's, it's LimitBreak.com. Exactly. Family. 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 Exactly, Alex. What's going on? Exactly. I'm taking a small bite. Uh, oh, no. Hey, try this. So this is an avocados commercial, and it's like Adam and Eve, instead of eating from the forbidden fruit, they eat avocados, and it shows how different the world well, is. She, didn't she just eat the forbidden fruit? She did it, fruit? but he didn't, right? Or or, what, or or they eat it afterwards, and the world is somehow better. They make everything better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now everything is avocado and everyone's naked still. Nice. Naked is all the rage. You were right. Avocados make everything better. Ah, sweet liberty. Yeah, I wish that little groundhog was there to save us before the before the Bible was ever written. Here's the new Indiana Jones movie. My memory is a little fuzzy. Are you still a Nazi? <laughs> He was talking to Nick Fuentes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, you can't call them Nazis in the Duh, Duh, Duh. Somebody's that cut this up with Kanye. What are you I thought they were going to replace him with, uh, what's his name? Oh. Crazy dude. Oh. So there's the dude, for this. This is yeah. messed up. Everybody's mad that they have the 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 family the, family family dungeons and dragons family <laughs> family family nat twenty family family family. Exactly. That's all you gotta talk about. Everybody's mad that they're doing the book club with the the, the drag queens, the drag queen book club. But they got little babies getting married now. This is too far. It's just exactly. it's one of those talking baby commercials. People still eat that shit up. It's for too future. Uh, oh, Shia LaBeouf. That's who I was thinking of. Babies are too young to be married. For anything. Marriage, kids, college. Kids moving back in after college. Is this La Balenciaga? What is this? You know you Co no, completely you legal in, Wait a minute. in Wyoming. This isn't even our stroller. <laughs> you live with your parents, but you own a house in the metaverse. Mm -hmm. Cool. I don't get it. Here's to getting financially ready for anything. And here's to being single and ready to mingle. Who's ready to cha-cha? This is disgusting. E-Trade. They've been doing this for years. It's disgusting, Morgan Stanley. Grooming. Yeah, this is, uh, this commercial has a bunch of people that you'll recognize. Man, that's big. Poppy. So what's Kev Betty? They short odds? <laughs> so, both that ludicrous. number only works for... Like what? Ohio is that Pennsylvania, Wyoming, and New York? Everyone's going to fuck themselves. Ohio, Pennsylvania, and then New York has the other number. Yeah, if you this have a gambling people problem. With gambling problems. I wonder if this was aired in that area. They put the number on well, for that area. What what they do? No, no. I saw the same thing. Okay. What, what they do? It, like a lot of these states, they were like, okay, we'll make sports gambling legal, but you have to like display this helpline. Ah. Uh. Uh, as a as a condition, it's part of the regulation. So far, I've noticed ludicrous. Please, I know there's Undertaker. Hey, I'm watching you like a hawk, Tony Hawk, like the bird. All customers, head to the DraftKings Sportsbook app to claim your free bet now. Kev, your face is delicious. Is it guac? I don't know what to say, really. We're in the dark right now. And we can stay here, or we can fight our way back to the light. One inch at a time. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They are in every break of the game, every second. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know- Man, if she's getting this hard over an inch, she should see my penis. Should be three times as happy. You 
got to look at the person next to you. Now, I think you're going to see someone who will have a Habsburgian holiday because when it comes down to it, you're going to lots of incest in the Habsburg family, by the way. Happy Valentine's Day, Bubba Husky. That's a team, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what are you going to do? So that was a Remy Martin commercial. I don't like commercials where you don't know what product is being advertised until the very end or sometimes not even at all. It's, yeah, it's just, I only suspected that because like the one of the first scenes ha- just so happened to have that Remy Martin in the background. Like I missed that. But this See, is exactly, grooming. Just a flash. This is grooming because they know if they say alcohol right off the bat, those responsible underage uh, 21 and under people that Cobes talks about will tune them out. But they're trying to get ahead of that Cobes audience. They're trying to watch and, and say, well, we won't tell them it's alcohol until the very end. That's grooming. No, it's they know that they know that older people will stay there, but Zoomers don't have the attention span. So by the time they find out it's alcohol, they would be away. So it's actually to filter out people underneath 21. Oh, to tell you all the incredible things about T-Mobile, we tried to make a commercial with Bradley Cooper and his mother. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, I don't like the Bradley Cooper is like a foot taller than his mom. I, I saw this commercial. I'm like, man, she's so small. America's largest 5G network. Try it again. Oh, my God. You look like a flamingo in this. Okay. Yeah. America's largest 5G network. How can I help you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> can I help you? You're making me crazy. Really? And what does price lock guarantee mean? Mom, talk to me. Don't worry about this. Well, I have one eye there and one eye on you. T-Mobile has price lock. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Give me the paper. Smile. His mom's wearing sunglasses inside, so I'm like, she might be a little, little hopped up on goofballs. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they probably did that on purpose, so it'd be funnier. Clam. I think I know slip her a Mickey yeah, and make her read times. the teleprompter. Yeah, this com- this commercial is not really that funny, and it's like I I, I feel yeah. like they spent way too much money on this. Commercial. I'm watching this and I'm wondering like. Why Bradley Cooper did this? I don't know. He might have paid him. The, the the comma was in the right place. There must have been a lot because yeah. I can imagine he's got enough money. Yes. maybe his mom okay. needed money. But part of me actually wonders whether or not, right? Like they meant okay. So if they meant it to be this way, right? It's still cringy as fuck, regardless, right? But was that his mom was such a bad actor? They're like, fuck it. We spent money on this. We're going to edit it together. We're going to get our money from this. Some people think it's cute. Speaking of winning, this year T-Mobile's network won the most national awards. Now this just might make us America's best network. Maybe Bradley Cooper's doing this on purpose to make people think he's hella tall. He's like, I'm going to do a commercial on the Super Bowl next to my short-ass mom so people think I'm hella tall. Here's, uh... Smart. The, the, the reboot of, uh... Clueless? Yeah. I mean, just for this commercial, but it's interesting. I'm Paul Rudd in it. Pretty clueless about shopping. Like when I heard I could save. No, he's cash not. Back with oh. I was like, as if. Apparently Stacey Dash got, come uh, back. Why can I do this sooner? I thought he had sexual harassment accusations. Maybe that's the reason why I did that. I, look, guys, I'm I'm cute and wholesome, and did not sexually harass people on a she Star looks- is Born. She looks really well, really good in this commercial. Back on all the fashion at your fave beauty stores. She aged very yeah. well. Pretty much whatever. Who she did. That there? In conclusion, you'd have to be butt crazy. Or to filters have aged really well. Whatever. Aren't you a little old for high school? <laughs> what? Was it like 25 years later? It's been a while. She's like 45. The mist on the lake in the morning. Yeah, I still do it. The smell of the campfire at night. The feel of eight pound test running through your fingers. And that trip to the store. Out Bass Pro Shops. The oh, they have giant fish out. at the Bass Pro Shops? I, I've never been I in one, the honestly. The now they I want to go to a Bass Pro Shop. There. Look at the fish. And that makes those experiences priceless. Johnny Morris, Bass Pro Shops, and Cabela's, world's foremost outfitters. Voted America's best outdoor retailer. Save even more and support conservation when you join the club. Oh. Stay away from my wife. Here's some Ben Stiller shit. Acting is the art of making you believe what you're seeing is real. Will you? <laughs> Pain is real. <laughs> Rachel Dratch. Somebody out there thinks Rachel Dratch is the hottest woman on earth. Good for them. The real is real, but it's not real. It's acting. 
Wow, that's like really good. Or was I just acting? All you need to know is to try it for yourself. Yeah, he does the Zoolander thing at the end. <laughs> that's pretty great. Of course. I guess the Pepsi Zero Sugar thing is their new formula, too. Like, they just redid Pepsi Zero Sugar. Mm -hmm. Damn, I, that's the one I drunk forever until I stopped drinking soda. Not bad. This commercial's like, I, no, it's whatever. This could have been a, this could have been a commercial for anything. She's shopping like a billionaire. It's for online shopping, right? Why did they put a blonde wig on the bald black guy? Make him look cool. Okay. He bought the wig for cheap on Timu. <laughs> Timu. I've never heard of Timu before. Shop like a billionaire. Here's the Paramount Plus commercial. Beavis and Bug came back and they're basically us. They just watch like YouTube videos and comment on them. They're literally oh, actually They stole us. my idea. They, they, they stole the goddamn podcast idea. <laughs> Sue. Sue. The Sylvester Stallone face. Of course. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how, hey, how you doing? Hey, I don't know. You know. Yeah. These are his daughters. No, 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 no. Don't sneeze. Oh, dear God, no. Hold it. Hold it. Don't do it. Go. Ha! Gesundheit. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Are they doing their podcast on there now? I know he does a podcast with his daughters. They do it on their own most of the time, and every now and then he pops in, and those are like the most viewed ones. Did Paramount pick them up? or I have no idea. That is weird that they're on there. Maybe they did. I'm, I'm yeah. not sure. Or maybe they're doing a reality show. Who who knows? I have no Fuck, idea. Everyone has a podcast now, don't they? Yeah. We're waiting. Hey, this is another commercial. Was it just a fucking alcohol commercial? They're doing a uh, they're they're doing like a Caddyshack parody in this commercial. <laughs> Kenny Loggins. There is was that a Brian Cox. I don't. It's the it's Rodney Dangerfield's golf bag from Caddyshack. He had like all this cool stuff that would come out of it. I don't want Kenny Loggins to uh, copyright claim this. The, one of the most successful creators out of Everett, Washington? He did a lot of soundtracks in the 80s. Yeah. Top Gun. Highway yeah. to the Danger Zone. Top, yeah, yeah. Top Gun, Caddyshack. There's a few more that I can't think of. Oh, Footloose. A Footloose lot of is big people one. watching right now were created during a Kenny Loggins song. I bet you slice it into the woods. Damn you, Kenny Loggins. I, uh, I doubt... I don't want you to copyright claim me, Kenny Loggins. Ah, I'm talking over you now. Yes. Ah, right now. Yeah. Ah. Breaking the law. Damn. Be the ball. It would have been cool. It would have been cool if they would have sprung the money to get Chevy Chase and Bill Murray in this. I think they're worried that those guys will be canceled soon. Because this is the Bill Murray character right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kenny Loggins. You tried to trick me there. I see right through you. Rihanna on the world's biggest stage. Yeah. Apple music. Oh, yeah. Rihanna was good. Uh, you could tell she was pregnant. Super Bowl A lot of people being very mean to Rihanna. Yeah, I mean, if she did that while she was fucking pregnant, it was good for her. I saw someone call her a lobster. Well, she was wearing all red, but I didn't think of lobster. I thought it was crazy how she was hoisted up so high up into the air on this platform that was on some wires. I'm like, man, this liability. There's a lot of liability here. It's a big platform. She stayed it, in the no, middle No, no, it was right? big. I'm just like, what if it like randomly flipped over or something? Fucked? Like, yeah. I wonder if she had some sort she of... She did. Yeah, she, but she would have been like Link, hanging from a strap, basically. Yeah, you could see it behind her how she was strapped in, but it it would have been crazy anyway. So good. Here's the Ezra Miller Flash movie that's coming Ooh. out, and and you get a little sneak peek of someone's return. You know what I'm saying? 
Remember, What's guys. Happening? Remember, guys. On Valentine's Day, get you someone. Get you it someone as loyal true. as Warner Brothers is to uh, uh, Ezra Miller. Well, I think they have to get their money back out of this before they can do anything with them. <laughs> Batgirl was scrappable. Here it is. Here it is. You're, you are here. Yeah. I'm Batman. Michael M Keaton. Michael Keaton back as Batman. It's pretty awesome. But Ben Affleck's in this too. Yeah. It's it's kind of weird, but there's a lot of time travel in this movie. They're using the Tim Burton Batman theme song too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. That is cool. I have to admit. Watch the full trailer online now. Flash. It looks Cute. good, actually. At like first glance, it looks good. So Cute. only theaters June sixteenth. Whatever happened with Ezra Miller? Did he get in trouble? I think he's going through all of the motions to get right. I think he's got like so he to, wasn't charged with any crimes or anything like that. I don't know if the crimes have stuck. I know that he's yeah. going to like not whatever rehab is for emotional breakdowns or whatever. Okay. Also, please don't cancel us for using the wrong pronoun for Ezra Miller. Oh yeah. Oops. Um, th is that little kid puking in the toilet? Memories. I, uh, see, another song. I'm just going to turn this down. Oh, this is adorable. I've seen this video so many times. Jesus didn't oh, want to Oh, it's a Jesus like commercial. Oh, no. He gets us, all of us. Jeez, us. Be childlike. Wyoming can't. Put that age counter on the. Uh, put that limit on the wedding. Obviously. Websites. It's a Squarespace commercial. Oh God. It's a website that makes websites, websites become a Squarespace. Websites, websites, website become a Squarespace. We have become a. Well, I guess you guys have become a true podcast. Here's the Squarespace ad. You did it, Adam Driver. Wow. Twenty million. The church chat. spent twenty fucking million on those Jesus <laughs> ads. Good for them. I mean, I think the money probably could have gone to something better. But if they indoctrinate even one percent of the viewers, then they'll make their money back. Hey, yeah, if it makes you feel better, remember that probably went straight up an executive no uh, executive's nose, straight off the ass of a hooker. To the Super Bowl on Fox. Hi, I'm Joel McHale. Watch my new show, Animal Control, premiering this Thursday on Fox. And everything the internet has told you is true. Attractive cougars in your area want to meet you. Scan this code to learn more. That is a very small cougar. How about the show, not the cougar thing. Like a full-grown cougar is like almost 200 pounds. He's not going to be able to hold a full-grown cougar, no. right? A full-grown oh. cougar might attack him, too. They're not going to sit there and let you hold them. That's a young one. What is this a commercial for? Um, I think it's... Let's see. I remember this commercial, but I don't remember what it was for. You can't afford health care. Go to upmc.com. Oh. Steve Martin. Oh, it's a hospital in Pittsburgh. Hey! That the frustration is real. Oh, the disappointment is real. Winner! Eat it, Kyle. That the joy is real. But it's just acting. Wow! That's fantastic! Or was I just acting? Only way to find out is to try it yourself. This small thing is the next big thing. Oh, this is uh, like a blood sugar monitor. The all new Dexcom G7 for all types of diabetes. I saw Cheech saying that 200 pounds is uh, a huge cougar. I, I I've never I, I don't I'm not like an expert. But I just looked it up. It says there a, a male averages from 120 to 220 pounds, so they can va they can vary by 100 pounds. Um, it shows your also. Glucose. Remember, this is really cool, but a lot of insurances don't like covering stuff like this, so... Yay! Just feels that way. Well, if you're a pop star, I think you can afford this. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you're starring in a Super Bowl commercial, you should be able to afford this. 
Yeah, if, if I see Florida be able to fucking poof away like magic. Oh my god, is Kenny Loggins back again? Kenny Loggins. Yeah. Chill the fuck out, Kenny it's Loggins. A new golf show on Netflix. Come on, Justin. Do golfers always talk in third person? So yes. this is like cross-promoting. It, it's it's a Michelob commercial, but it's also for this other golf thing. Is the golf thing a real it's show? Valid, I believe so. It's on Netflix. Don't worry. Tony, it's already been canceled. Tears? It's weird because they just have all the girls from Cuties come out and play golf in their underwear. Yeah, the fuck also, Netflix. For that fucker looks like Paul Rudd. Okay, yeah, so it's like, hey, don't forget about Michelob Ultra, and you can scan this code to watch this other thing, Full Swing. Swing, the highly mm-hmm. anticipated Netflix series. Ooh. General Motors is going electric. And Will Ferrell with a zombie truck commercial. The least they can do. So if you're going to get swarmed by an army of the dead, why not get swarmed in an EV? No. I said no biting. Or if you're being voluntarily kidnapped, why not be kidnapped in an EV? What's that scent? Is it pine? Now, should they add EVs everywhere? That was Squid Games? Yeah. So what is this? Is Is that another Netflix thing? This is like Bridgerton or something like that. Bridgerton? Isn't it? I I I have no idea. Yeah, Bridgerton's like this, like, Victorian era, era show, um, but, like, the cast does not reflect... Uh, the the Victorian era. I was hoping that it was going to be fine. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies starring Will Ferrell. It's neither. What about here, Erica? You're ruining the show, you idiot. What do you mean? It's me, Dusty. You're not. Yeah, you're right. This is like Stranger Things or something. It's like, supposed to be, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Later, loser. But anywhere else it makes sense. There goes another runner. Brad was so much better for you. You should have gone with Brad. Yeah, Brad. Are you serious? Why not make more of those cars electric? This squid game, obviously, right? Yeah. Yeah. All the 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 weird like tracksuit thing kind of tipped me off. It's the least they can do. And now he's a zombie, so I guess this is Walking (laughs) Dead or something. Oh, I think it was Resident Evil. Oh, okay. See, that's why I'm like, okay, that's two Netflix shows they had on here. Oh, Netflix, aha! You You want me to do a jingle. Oh, this this is part two in the P. Diddy Uh jingle series. He doesn't do jingles. One hit for Uber One. No, that sounds like a jingle to me. I think Uber One is like their subscription service. So if you subscribe monthly to it, you get discounts on food and rides Hmm. over it. I believe. It's not an airline service or helicopter service? No. Apparently, Tony Romo. Uber One can save you on Montel Jordan. It's kind of sweet. That's cool. What else we got? Oh, in court, <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, Donna. <laughs> you have to make money off every time. They're very kinky, but they hid it all through innuendo. They were also very fond of spanking in that way. I mean, uh, innuendo, wasn't it Mo, was it Mozart? Or who was, which one of the, was it? Beethoven or Mozart that was really into farts and he had him wrote a song about his mom's farts. It was very sexual and twisted. They were sick. They're all sick. Marquita Saad? Sickos. Oh, yeah, the OG sicko. Ho, ho, ho. Don't do that. God. Everyone saves me. Saves me. Way more. Uh, so they brought I out thought Hadaway. YouTube was the one that was resurrecting dead memes here. Excited. <laughs> oh, well, that's all it is. Combined Uber and Uber Eats. I believe that's what it is. To build a factory in America, you can't do that. This Could you have an Uber pick you up with food in the car ready to go? You can eat in their car while you go where you're going. New idea. That'd be so gross because people are messy eaters. Yeah, I wouldn't want oh, people yeah. eating in my car. If I was a dr- Uber driver, I would not want them like, eating. I have in my to car. go pick up. A, I, I have to go pick up a sloppy Joe from the diner and know this motherfucker's going to eat it in my back seat. I don't think that's a thing, though. Good. <laughs> Picking up a sloppy Joe with a sloppy you can't Joe. Do that. Experts claim you couldn't do what we did. You want to hire workers here in the states? You can't do that. WeatherTech has been proving them wrong for over 33 years. Building our own factories, employing thousands, and making world-class products right here in America. Because when you buy something made in America, we all win. WeatherTech. 
Uh-oh. Another Uh-oh. song. Ben, you can dance Turbo if you tags. want to. So, Turbo yeah. Tax. You guys can just imagine the song playing in we your can head. Leave our friends behind. We could use Turbo Tax. <laughs> if we use Turbo Tax, then we won't get fined. Unless you're Onision, he blamed everything on Turbo Tax. Unless you're Onision, he blamed all of his illicit relationships with underage women on Turbo Tax. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were under the drinking not age. Not again, Turbo Tax. They were only under the legal drinking age. He's not a, much of a drinker himself, so. He was mad when he owed all that money to the IRS. He was like, apparently TurboTax doesn't guarantee. Like, he wanted TurboTax to be like, you're cheating on your taxes, Onision. <laughs> you, James, James Jackson, you're cheating on your taxes. Alert, alert, hey, alert. And because it didn't hey, do but, that, he blamed TurboTax for it. Hey, could I get TurboTax to come out and, and do my lawn, too? They don't have to rip up endangered uh, wetlands or anything. They can just do normal Long work. I'll do that too. Okay. He that, saved his children from sticker bushes. That commercial sucked. Repsion was yep. the bad guy in that situation. Mozart was really into farts. Yeah. He wrote a piece called Lich Mine Arse to get out of a contract with a bishop so he can go to Vienna. Sicko. Now it's time to fix them. Oh, this is a Google Pixel commercial because they have that, they have that like crop shit out of your. You can just edit out exes and ugly friends now. Yeah, basically. Oh wow. Or doggies taking a dump in your picture, or some guy in a banana hammock. Oh wow. Or this guy, he was your wedding date, and now he's gone. Oh, now Amy Schumer's about to be totally funny. It's my exes. Okay, clearly they're not. They're not doing this right because they're editing the wrong thing out. Yeah, tell me when they have one you can just circle your penis and it's going to make it look bigger and more attractive. That's what I need. Well, that's what some people need. Oh, yeah, I know. This is a fantastic service. And I can't wait for everybody to Photoshop me out of their selfie. It's interesting, though, because normally when they're selling a phone, they're selling the hardware in the phone, like the camera or whatever else it does. But they're they're not even talking about the, the phone Google itself. Pixel now with the Stalin non-person feature. Right. It's, <laughs> it's, it's literally just software that they made for the phone. But uh, they might have just hit, started hitting the cap, you know, the, the hardware cap. They can't really improve it anymore, so they got to do other shit. I don't know. Yeah, this probably is a better selling feature. People are going to think they have to get the phone to use this stuff. Yeah, and they don't. Fixed on Pixel. Might as well use software to pull people in. Mm -hmm. Okay, are the M&Ms not going to be sexy now? Oh, I remember they put that big ad saying that they're not... Uh, it's M&M's not, now uh, with clams. We're tired of sexualizing M&M's, so we're going to put the most unsexy person, Maya Rudolph. With clams. Which I actually think is sexy. Oh, yeah, the clams. Yeah, that. Candy-coated clam bites. You want one? Maya's. Yeah, I'll eat your clam, Maya. I was wrong about Downy Unstoppables because it kept this hoodie smelling great for weeks. I'm a freaking believer now. Time to tell the world. Call me Downy McBride. Damn it. Uh, what you really want? Wasn't he uh, the... Wasn't he... Was he in Ready to Rumble? No. Okay, I'm getting him mixed up with another guy that kind of resembles yeah, him. Yeah, he was post-Ready to Rumble. Okay. Uh, you're thinking of Oliver Platt. Okay. Did Last he have, like, I similar checked, hair to this guy in Ready to Rumble? A little bit. Okay. Uh, last time I checked, you're not allowed to call someone Downey. Uh, unless you're Robert. But you really want... Oh, meerkats always get my attention. Yes. Damn it, all the music in the... Like, a good amount of ads with some music. Shaggy's making money, though. Shaggy came back. Yeah, car commercial. The elephants are walking backwards. You got to be well, careful. Well, why was there a track, though, where it looked like they did it previously? 
probably because it oh. took a couple takes. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. what? Did the digital art take a couple of takes? Oh, I thought you were talking about the, the car. I will say this. Your head can oh. go up an elephant's ass with ease, so be careful when they're walking backwards. I think I'd be more concerned with getting stepped on than my head going up their ass if they're wa if I'm behind them and they're walking backwards. I don't know. Tell your head's in an elephant's ass. You don't know what you want. I was going to give him a wide breath anyway. John? So, Any idea? John Ham and Brie Larson doing a mayonnaise commercial. Uh, a little ham, a little brie. Goes great with mayonnaise on a sandwich. Well, I'm Brie. Yeah, I'm John. I know, but you're John who? John Ham. So we're Brie and... Brie and ham. So ham smart. And I get it. And Hellman's. Got him. For dinner. Well, with Hellman's, all these leftovers can be anything. Is that Pete Davidson? Uh huh. He really is everywhere. He's going to cannibalize them. I'm going to eat you guys. Yeah. You guys are really delicious. That's, that's weird. Hellman's brings leftovers to life. I could actually believe that uh, was an interaction. This commercial was actually good. It happens to the best of us. It does. It happens to surgeons, <laughs> judges, overruled, airport grand crew, game show contestants. It's weird when you try to do that and you realize that all you actually have to do is tilt it to get the chip out. You don't have to reach your hand all the way to the bottom ben, and grab the chip and pull uh, it out. Yeah, you're not supposed to tell people. Oh, There's damn. two types of people in this world. The people who can get their hands out of a fucking Bringles can and the people who can't. If we start telling the people who can't how to get their hands out, they're going to kill themselves doing something else. The Pringles can test keeps them from doing <laughs> other shit out of their aptitude level. When the stack is about halfway gone, you gotta start planning ahead. This is mm -hmm. creating their funeral, man. <laughs> I would love to see a bowling league where they have to bowl with a Pringles can on the end of their hand. It even happened to your little cousin Timmy. Oh. Doesn't even make sense. That doesn't matter. Thanks. Your mother, uh, you got to understand something. Your aunt was really lonely, and all she had around her was the Pringles can. Grandpa. Once you pop, you can't stop. <sighs> mm -hmm. This is so weird because they're advertising non-alcoholic beer in this commercial. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Scott, it's, you know the rules. No shrinking and drinking, obviously. And do obviously. Not give alcohol to the ants. Obviously. Even if they ask. Not a problem, Hank. Alcohol free. It's alcohol free Heineken. <laughs> Guys, Dude, oh. When I want to piss all night, I drink alcohol free Heineken. What? Yeah, what? I don't see a point. It's it's lit like beer is empty calories anyway, but at least it gets you drunk. So non-alcoholic beer is just like empty carbs. If you're an alcoholic, can you even drink non-alcoholic beer or will it trigger something? Isn't there like a certain amount mm -hmm. in it or Uh people people who are alcoholics drink it to satiate cravings. Yeah. You're never going to finish that. Your eyes are bigger than your thoughts. Uh, uh, to me they're still the wait uh, is almost uh, over. Is she the Grinch? Returns for oh the no! Music Super Bowl. Yeah, the coat is very Grinchy. And the Whoville hair? That's show. lit. Oh Coming yeah, up. you're right. Yo, right. Doritos God, Barbecue. Something. No. Ooh. I had those the other episode. <laughs> Triangle oh, Solo. Yeah. Right. Oh, I did. Y'all did it you with the most rap for Triangle. I gotta do me missing. No. Who is this guy? Jack Harlow. It? Okay. No, no. I don't know who that is. <laughs> He's like a little less rugged looking post Malone. He's like if Macklemore and Post Malone became one person. Triangle. By Harlow. And triangle player of the year goes to El John. Yeah! Take that. <laughs> Try another angle. Elton John's uh, little outfit had Doritos all over it. He bought that just after. Uh, he, he bought that with the money he was going to spend on Billy pooping on him. 
For the first time in 30 <laughs> years, Coors Light has Allegedly. Added. Actually, this is a Miller Light commercial. <laughs> Mountain Cold Refreshment. It's Miller Time. This is this is really weird because it it was positioned originally as like a classic bros beer commercial and now there's this like choreographed fight scene and it's Miller Coors but then they kind of surprise you at the end cold as the Rockies Coors commercial Miller commercial Actually, it's a blue moon commercial. Whoa! <laughs> Got him! Yeah. It's a blue Okay, I, I actually like that one. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, they threw you for a loop. I don't know what this music is, uh, but yeah, it's a puppy commercial. Everyone loves a puppy. And that's getting yes. big. It's a big doggy now. Yeah, always puppies. Oh, no, he's chewing up all the toilet paper. Dude, they better not let the dog die in this commercial. I swear to God. Dear God. They better not do Please that. Help. Dude. It's starting to get suspiciously close. I don't like this. It's a, it's a commercial for this dog food. Oh, man. Farmer's dog, dog food. Oh, man, I don't like this commercial. Why? It's sad. Why is it sad? Because the dog's old now. We know what happens. The dog oh, does not die you. in the commercial. Oh, thank goodness. You're such a downer, yes. Billy. No, I'm not. I don't like dogs you, dying you in my commercial. Commercials. You took a commercial where a dog didn't die and made it into a commercial with we a dog We saw the dying. progression of age, Ben. Anybody with a brain would understand where that was going. We, get the we watch enough TV. We born from the OGs. Follow up, right back. Another USFL commercial. This is USDA prime time football. Just ask these guys. You better recognize the real. You better recognize. Pro football returns in eight weeks with the USFL on Fox and NBC. Football is a game of inches. It takes strategy, commitment, passion, and the unceasing will to win. Fighting for justice shares these things in common. The attorney hey, you dumb shits in the chat. What happened in the commercial? Did the dog die or not in the commercial? Yeah, I know the dog's going to die. Everything that's alive dies someday. I'm talking about the commercial. Ben, just take what happened L. in ben, the actual the commercial? Take the L, Ben. On what? You got to take the L on this one. About what? 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 What is the L for? Did, 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 did the every, dog die in the commercial or not? Everybody knows what happened. Everybody not in the knows. commercial. It was a heartfelt, beautiful commercial tearing at our heartstrings. So the point of the commercial is feed your dog this food and your dog will live to a healthy old age. Thank God. And deal with every obstacle. This is what makes the heart of a champion. Bordis and Bordis fighting. What the fuck are these guys like? Who, who did they sue to get a co Super Bowl commercial? <laughs> who did those guys sue? They, they, somehow, somewhere, those guys got a Super Bowl commercial out of um, like a mass misery. I, I would say it was the train derailment. And they got all that 30% of the train derailment money. Who did those guys sue? I, pull them up. Google those motherfuckers. Where did they get Super Bowl commercial money? Who don't back down. And so, the ones who don't quit. They say all people are six degrees apart, but some are just a right. six pack away. The people who share the same spirit share the same beer. <laughs> You're always just a six pack away from alcoholism, drunk driving, and murdering your loved ones. <laughs> it's just oh, there it goes. Well, at least it's not the dog. Oh yeah. Can you hear me? Is this the Harrison Ford movie? How to keep a heart beating. It's matter. How to save a life. You have the power to save a life. Learn more at minutesmatter.upmc.com. Damn. 
Why do they have How the Pink the Panther as a spokesperson? This is a local commercial because Owens Corning makes the pink insulation huh. and it's actually headquartered in Toledo. Owens Corning, a lot of glass companies. So like the pink fiberglass insulation. Life flashing before its eyes. They didn't show the dog die, but it was definitely dying. I mean, I we could say much. anyone in any of these commercials is dying because they're getting older. And we know that last die. guy got saved because the guy no. knew how to save a life. But he'll we'll, die we'll someday. We knew oh, he, yeah, got he got saved. Heart he'll die someday. We knew he got saved. He might die the next day or something. Well, I, I don't know. No, he said, I'll take. Safe. He might not have watched. He I'll take the Owens Corning L. I'll take the Owens Corning L. Ben. It's not an L. The one of fridge. I request a brief full screen bitch boy slap fight. If met, I shall double this donation. A bitch boy slap no. fight? No. Um, but yeah, this is like, I could tell whoever recorded this lives in Pittsburgh because it's literally like roofingcontractorpittsburgh.com. So uh, this, uh, that, this was a local commercial. Whoever made this compilation should have cut this one because it's literally like, it's not meant to be a Super Bowl commercial. Uh, yes, yeah, if they were right, uh, UPMC is the apparently the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. So that's who did the last ad. I'm telling you, I'm the strongest Sanders in the family, the whole family. Uh oh. Nah, this is strong. So it's Deion Sanders and his. <laughs> is this his name his son Shadur? Shalomi strong? Sanders. Oh, Tracy. It's like Deion Sanders and his family. This is the Deion Sanders extended universe. <laughs> Cheers, Don Doodles. Thank you very much for the, the love and support, my yeah, friend. The last few were pretty good. Nice. I like how someone thinks that they can pay me to like get slapped. I don't think that sounds fun. Well, it was a bitch boy slap fight. But I don't want to... I don't want to do that. So if you were slapped. if you were the better slapper, you could. I don't you care. Not get slapped. I don't. I don't care. I could get slapped up. I don't care if I'm a better or worse slapper. I don't want to get slapped. What if we never left well, the chair? The, no. But well, the whole point of the bitch boy slap strong. fight is that you really don't yeah. get slapped. Well, yeah, we could like slap hands or something. I just don't want to do it. I wonder if they're if they're like investors in this yogurt or something like the Sanders family. I'm sure they just hired him for the commercial, yeah. but. He's he's getting really popular again because he became a he became a, a college football coach hmm. and he took this school that was kind of a low level school and made it so good that he got hired by a major university now. Oh. And he was he was really well known because he was really good at football baseball. and baseball. Yeah, he was a two sport athlete. Yeah, those were rare. Yeah. I guess good for him. In my early backyard wrestling career, I, I, I stole from Deion Sanders and his two-sport athlete. I was a two-sport athlete. I was a bowler and a pro wrestler. I, was, I went by Kingpin. I've been on that dating app, but girls are actually 400 miles away. I have dated a lot of guys in the city. It hasn't yeah, this is me. that cowboy dating show again. She's too pretty. Take to me home. Like yeah, okay, so like these girls have like their hair dyed blue and green and stuff. Like, at the end, it should all be a Mr. Hands situation where they all just bang <laughs> horses. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Kissing a woman was a lot harder than I <laughs> thought it was going to be. I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning and shovel cow shit. But making a woman love me is impossible. I mean, the sheep right there. Sheep super simple. A woman, though. Told you is true. Attractive cougars the in your area want to meet you. Scan this code to learn more about the show, not the cougar fair. The sheep cannot consent. Nope. I'm Rocky Bladder. You know, as a veteran, Rocky a Bladder? Athlete, I know staying healthy and partnering with your doctor is important. I guess he, okay, this is another local commercial to local to the person that recorded this. It's also Pittsburgh. This guy is doing this ad because he was, he played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. In the I wonder past. how many local ad spots they go out. For that poor I've only seen two so far. Grieving family who are sad about the dog that died. I don't want to monetize this dog's death. Star Medicare Advantage plans that provide don't worry. Dental vision here. Hey, uh, guys, I've got a 17-year-old dog. Is he? Is she dead? Not yet. Oh, hold on. What? So should we act like she's dead? Thank dog, she's still here with us. Oh, okay. Yep. Huh. Prescription benefits. The UPMC for Life Flex Spend Card gives you up to one thousand additional dollars for your health care. Your health care dollars. Your choice. Get in the game. Call today for free information. 
Unlike the dog, that, just like the dog that was in the commercial, my dog also didn't die in that well, commercial. My dog did die, and it made me cry. Not in that commercial. My dog made me cry when it died, okay? You see oh, Brodus Clay? Dog. This is like a Fox News commercial, and they had Brodus Clay wearing is he a chainmail Fox helmet. News now? Yeah, uh, he has been for cute. years. Yeah, Why don't we watch he's, him? He's on Gutfeld. Actually, he's one of the big people. Why are we not yeah, watching Gut, his stuff? Gutfeld has, uh, he's, they're giving him a late night talk show. We should be watching. Yeah. We should be watching Brodus Clay and Kane as much as we possibly can. Content. Is this a condom commercial? Uh, I don't think so. But that is a Trojan horse. At CrowdStrike, we monitor CrowdStrike. To detect threats oh, it's like cybersecurity commercial. Ah, uh, that to makes sense. Business from becoming history. We stop cyber attacks. The Trojans are also viruses. A virus. Yep. CrowdStrike, mm -hmm. protection that powers you. Ooh. Here we come. Damn it. This looks good. Yeah, the new Creed movie. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw the last few. Look, they, at, he got so fucking buff for this. Whew. I don't even think I've seen any of the Creed movies yet, and I want to go see this. This one looks good. It they fit chronologically with the Rocky movies. And you yeah. noticed that Brodus was also wearing the NWA World Champion. Was he? I didn't notice that. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's funny. Is he the current NWA champ? Ah, yeah. Creed Three looks good. I don't know. Maybe they could. An all-female flag oh, yeah. football league. Hey, why not? What's this little character doing? Is this bunny getting murders? What the hell? That bunny died in yeah, this commercial. I should hope not. What is this? Why is this a thing? Oh, we're just burying people? Oh, yeah. Okay, whatever. These bunnies deserve to oh, die. Oh, man, our stream just got killed. A just because we're playing commercials. All of these are on YouTube. Boo. Do we just have to stop playing the commercials? or? I don't know. I guess we'll see. That's so yeah. weird, though. I wonder what did it. We'll be back, though. I've seen this happen before. Probably this commercial. Maybe the music in the background. It could be the music. Oh, yeah. I didn't recognize the music, but... Let's see. I've seen this happen before. The damn bunny commercial. Yep. This is this is definitely a local commercial right here. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Temporarily blocked because we detected copyrighted audio and video. In the uh, arms of ooh. an angel. Yeah, it's dumb because I literally downloaded this from YouTube. So Well, I've played stuff on YouTube before that got me copyright dump too. Yeah, it's a flaw in their system. If well, they I allowed think, Yep. You could still have stuff on YouTube that is copywritten, right? Like, yeah, you can't replay it. Like, that's well. I mean, I downloaded this whole compilation that someone uploaded on a random channel. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone that lives in Pittsburgh just uploaded a compilation of commercials. So YouTube's. System. All right, we're back now. We're back up. Ooh, now. nice. We're back and better than ever. Egghead. So, so yeah, we we had a. It's funny because I downloaded this compilation from a random YouTube channel. Uh, obviously, someone that lives in Pittsburgh recorded all these. None of this should be the type of violation that would take a stream down. We'll try to get through it. We'll we'll go through a little further, and if it happens again, we'll just move on to something else. I just need oh, Egghead yeah, to sense. know you cannot announce our death. Okay? You say what you want about that dog, Egghead, but we're still the, alive. The rumors of yep. our demise have been greatly exaggerated, and that dog's too. 
Mm-hmm. Someone sent me a news story about the oldest dog in ever in recorded history. It's 30 years old. Damn. It lives in Italy. Nice. Or uh, or Belgium, I think. Some somewhere in Europe. I'd have wow. to look at it. Yeah, it's 30. That's crazy. For a dog to make it to 20 is unheard of. And it's not a little dog, too. It's usually little dogs that have the longest lifespan. Yeah. It's a medium-sized, like, it almost looks like a like a mutt, like a chocolate lab hmm. uh, mixed with something else. Visit He's the goodest boy. Say the Deep Creek Experience. This is definitely a local commercial to whoever. Oh, yeah, for sure. You 40%. That's almost half your settlement. Our fee is only 25%. Call us at 888-98-TWINS. We've got your back. Not got your your back. <laughs> also, that man's hairline. It's that get-go just shave it, man. What is a get-go? I've never heard of get-go. Get-go cafe. It's probably a gas station or in something. In Pittsburgh. Fresh to order. Yep. Our menu is loaded with juice. They're trying to take over the sheets territory or something. Oh, uh, okay. If you don't love Howard me, Hanna. We'll yeah, this is another. Value. Contact us today and get started. For local news and weather. Yep, local news. Channel 11 yep. News on Fox 53 and 10. You know when you get a feeling? I'm doing this 20 years. I've never had a feeling like this. This is a crypto exactly commercial? what I see. Mrs. Oh, no. oh, they're back. Greatness. Michael Jordan. The greatest basketball shoe that's- yeah, it's the story of how Nike lands Michael Jordan. Oh. Yeah. Never been made. I guess he wanted to do Adidas originally. We built a shoe line around just him. For a rookie who's never set foot on an NBA court. Who's the player? Michael Jordan. Inspired by true Michael events. Jordan. Oh, wait, hold on. Reach out to the oh, yeah, there's probably... Probably the song, the song's probably gonna get us hushed. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. That's such trash. Got a hush crust. This, uh, this that is trash. This, this musical accompaniment. Here, just yep. pause it and I'll say what the guys are saying. Okay, you talk. Yeah, you talk for them. All right. Yeah, we gotta get these Space Jam Jordans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you this mean, Space Jam Jordans? Jordans? My Michael isn't even in Space Jam yet. Jerry what? Jarrett, key figure in Memphis wrestling, passed away. Jeff Jarrett's dad. R.I.P. Shut up, Damn, egghead. egghead. That's hard. That's By hard. the way, guys, did you know Jerry Jarrett passed away today? I, you guys probably didn't know that, but I just want to let you know. Jerry Jarrett. R.I.P. Jerry. What? Jerry Jarrett. Heard it first from me. Yeah, we're yep. going to sell these shoes. We want to sell your son's shoes. Make him a million dollars. So Ben Affleck is the director of this movie. Wow, they did a good job of creating Vegas the way it looked 30 years ago. It's interesting. I put it all on black. I read. Chicago Bulls, black and red. Because they are so very special. Is that Viola Davis? I'm not sure. I guess she's supposed to be Michael Jordan's mother. That was the first there, pair of Air Jordans right there. Is Michael Jordan even in it? Or they just like I talk to everybody so. around him? Like I mean, is there someone playing him, you know? Oh maybe. I don't know. They had the the Lakers movie or show came out on HBO. Yeah. I like oh this is my I like seeing this guy in a commercial. Get get that money, Papa. Cream always in the bag. Get that money, Papa. All right, chefs, we gotta go get the beans. The gotta go get the beans. Jelly beans. By the way, I want to point out that some of this episode might end up getting clipped out if there's any copyright stuff going on, which is another reason why you should listen to the audio version of the show because everything mm-hmm. even when we were off the air our conversation there it'll was recorded there. yeah it'll all be on the audio version Uh-oh. of the show and we did a little pre-show before this so you get more content if you subscribe to us through spotify or itunes or wherever you get podcasts if you don't get podcasts you should anyway download every episode because it helps the show out and you get extra content for free DoorDash. <laughs> Here it is again. Isn't this great? Is it- There's Brodus. Yeah, he does have the ten pounds of gold. How corny is our our uh, this late night show going to be? It's going to be awful. Oh, uh, not going to be. Gutfeld has been on forever. In fact, he always has their belt on whenever he's on Gutfeld. Uh, this is for oh Gutfeld, the number one late night TV show uh, in broadcast. Appropriation. I do like the French Bulldog. Hello, America. That's a wrap. 
What? Sorry, these ads are pricey. I was going to say, sorry, you already got canceled because you suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. Is next level chef. You are all about to be I'm just like, circle gets a square. I'm kind of surprised that that one commercial of all the commercials was the one that took the stream down. It seems so tame compared to the other ones. You never know. It must have been the music. I don't know. Yeah, the music. Here's the fan duel where uh, Gronkowski does a kicker. Yeah, and he's he was never a kicker, so this is interesting. So you say that it took the stream down the rabbit hole? Was this live or is it just recorded? It, they claim it was live. It could have been pre-recorded. Huh. If they actually had people bet on it legally, this had to have been real. But I don't know if they took bets on it or not. Live. Family looking on. Here we go. All right, Gronk. The kick is up. Missed. He made it, right? No. 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 Damn. One of the one of the kicks in the Super Bowl hit the post and it was so loud you could hear like bong. Huh. That was the first field goal attempt. Damn, damn, Gronk! You won a lot of money gambling, yay! If you have a gambling problem, please call one Oh, here's the Breaking Bad commercial. Are they making blue chips? And their air popped, not fried. Pop corners. You're an artist. Actually, Jesse, it's just basic ingredients. Huh? No, we don't eat our own supply. Mr. White! Jesse. Everyone's gonna want to taste. What are these? <laughs> Puko? Oh, popcorners. Time! 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 We've got six signature flavors, y'all. Seven! You make seven! Seven works. Yeah. Seven works. Yes, nice. Oh, dude, this is so great. Anyone who's ever heard this hold music, I, I don't know, like... This is yeah. like the universal hold music when you get put on hold. Yeah. Call time is now less than 96 minutes. I wonder what this music does when you're on hold. I even worked at a call center that used this as the hold music. Yeah, so I, I would to, listen to it all the I've time. I've had to listen to this a couple times. This is my car accident. I don't... Are we going to get claimed for it? No. <laughs> If this whole music takes the stream down, it's that's ridiculous. It's fighting words. We thank you for your patience. Spur. Huh. French bulldogs, man, in all these commercials. Sorry, are you still there? Yes. Okay, please. Hold Magic has said this dog is also dying. Damn it! No. We don't know that. Well, eventually. No, we're, all dogs left we're not led to, to believe that in this commercial. Like it. yep. it's oh, it's Timu. Ah, oh, not this one again. Yeah. So you could shop like a billionaire. Like a billionaire. Buying, what does that $5 mean? <laughs> Why would you feel like a... Because you can afford to buy all sorts of stuff that you don't have to worry about money because it's so cheap. You get good stuff at such a cheap price, you feel like a billionaire. You don't have to worry about stopping your shopping because you're you're a billionaire. Start with the bag. Mix it some star power. Finally. Turn them loose. Progressive woke Daytona oh, 500. Oh, stream unavailable. Oh my god. Again? Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. What what was it this time? I don't even know, dude. Cha 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 cha. Cha 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 cha. Oh that's God! Fine. Was it the holding music? I don't think it could have been, but that's fine. We'll 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 stop at the commercials. Yeah, we got through most of them. We'll be back up. You, those of you who are watching the uh, or listening to the audio version, you can hear the behind the scenes while we await coming back here. Uh, but yeah, we got through most of them. It's ridiculous. I <sighs> totally a hundred percent. I will. I will say that it's the holding music because that is the funniest shit. That's the funniest. Do. I don't think that hold music is copyrighted and like by design so that. And it didn't go off during the hold music. It went off during the next. But that we played that one earlier and it was fine. I, it's true. hard to pinpoint what it was. Uh, mm. It's fine. The mm. algorithm decided. You think it was the uh, Timu commercial yeah. that played earlier too? I don't get it, guys. Mm. 
Bong, 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 By the way, bong, 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 the guys that listen to the audio version of this tell everyone that this was the most exciting thing. And yes, that it was you the, definitely need to listen the to the audio. The greatest moment only. of our lives. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, cha, 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 cha. You'll be happy to know no dogs were harmed during this live audio only version of the show. Mm -mm. All dogs go to heaven, anyways. But yep, exactly. We don't we don't want to see them go. We're back. We're back, man. Nice. I'm glad we were off the air when I told that story. Yeah, those of you. Oh, I know for sure. Those of you that are not canceled. listening on the audio only version, no spoilers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we're <laughs> we're back and we're gonna stop with the commercials now because we don't want the stream to get taken down Since again. Since Ben wants to be the new Grim Reaper, then I hereby transfer all Grim Reaper responsibilities to Ben. No, no, Egghead, keep sending us money to spoil uh, all the deaths. Spoil deaths. <laughs> don't let don't let Ben keep you from sending please, us money. Please Egghead. don't spoil the deaths. No, that's the highlight of my day. Well, yeah, I mean, so we'll move on from this, and we'll we'll get into something else. Everyone, like the stream if you're still here, and we'll check something else out. What do we got next? We got some good stuff. Liquid Skelly, what do you think? How about the Super Bowl? Was it worth all the commercials? Sitting through all the commercials? Did you watch the Super Bowl? Because I didn't. I, Absolutely not. I don't even I know who won. Bowl. Did the Eagles win? No. Shit. They, it was really close. It came down to the very end. You, because like sometimes with football, you can, like one team's winning so much that the other team can't possibly come back. But this time, it, it came down to the very end. But uh, Kansas City won. There was a bad call that kind of influenced it. That was interesting. But yeah, uh, we're gonna get into some news now. Let's start it out. He called me, sir. It got me so humiliated. Oh, no, don't worry. I will not swallow the puppy ball. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. And you better well learn to love it. <sighs> All right. Let's take a look at... Uh, there, there's been, I think, four or maybe even five... Play the half time show. That shouldn't be a copyright problem. <laughs> Good oh, idea, yeah. Seth looks. <laughs> so there's been about five objects shot down since the initial balloon that they believed came from China. Not including the balloon or including the I balloon? I believe it's including the balloon. Uh-oh. They're all s surveillance craft, which is very strange. And they always come from the north down, like, either through Alaska or through Canada. Coming down through Canada? Yeah, yeah. So the one was, like, near the UP of Michigan. So what are they trying to say? Don't know much about the three For those of you that don't know, the UP in yeah. Michigan is is this part, right? It's the, the upper that, part. Like it's like the, hook, uh, Michigan's a hand, right? It's above that. Yeah, so it's like up here? It's like up here. Oh. Um, there's like a really long bridge connecting them, the Mackinac Bridge. Liz Dewicki. U.S. fighter jets shot down over the course of three days. The White House not saying much. What we do know? is that the military is making some headway and recovering parts of the Chinese spy balloon that was shot down earlier this month. Reporter Doug Luzader joining us from Capitol Hill this morning where senators are prepping for a classified briefing today. Doug, good morning. Talk a little bit about this briefing and what lawmakers could learn. Good morning. Well, there's still a lot that we don't know, uh, particularly about these last three balloons, or say balloons, the, the Pentagon refers to them as objects, but these last three objects that were down, we don't even know a country of origin. And, and no, that's I thought they were all UFOs and we were all shooting down aliens. Don't, they are UFOs, but a UFO reality. can be anything. It's just an object that flies that's unidentified. As to the first uh, Chinese spy balloon, heart. where we, you know we, we have a fair amount of information about that, and they we have able Anderson to Cooper at home. A, a lot of the debris <laughs> uh, associated with that balloon, so uh, we, we will presumably learn quite a bit about that. These other three, they have not recovered. Glanderson Booper is in the impact so there, zone. There are just all kinds of questions about this, as well as the evolving U.S. military policy uh, toward okay, these unidentified. Okay, how many shots at the balloon? I mean, it was like. 40,000 feet so you'd be it'd be hard for you to even see it let alone get a shot at it if i just think like, it was south carolina police department outright said in a facebook post please do not shoot at the balloon 
Sure. And there were people in Florida that shot at a hurricane. There if were people you, who shot at that balloon. I mean, a bullet wouldn't even be able to reach it. In the sky. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I understand the smart military people did says it. they're making headway on this recovered spy balloon that was shot down from earlier this month. But, you know, what else are they saying? What do we know about that right now? As far as the the, the first object, um, well, they, you know, they, they, they knew the debris field, so they were able to recover that from the relatively shallow waters there off the coast of South Carolina. At least they've been able to recover some of it. Um, they did apparently get a portion of the payload, and, and that's going to be critical. It'll give us an idea of kind of the surveillance equipment that may have been on board this device, give us a better idea of where China perhaps sourced some of China. That, uh, that, those electronics. Um, there had been some... I just want to point out that you guys are amazing because this is the first show of the week, and we're already at 32%. We've I know. we still got like, you know, like... Uh, 45 minutes to an hour of the show left. Our boy Don Dudos so, came through for a big chunk of that. Jeez. Yeah. Assertions oh, yeah, early on sure. that there were some English markings, that there were some Western components there. Uh, where did those come from? So there there are a lot of questions yet to so, be answered as far as that first incident is I concerned. I wonder when the inevitable alien show comes up and says that all four objects were actually UFOs that were shot down. They are UFOs, though. They are, like... It doesn't Sorry, have to be aliens. Alien UFOs. <laughs> I mean, I don't think aliens would use a balloon. I if if they've mastered intergalactic travel, they can. They don't need a balloon to what fly. If they, in what if this is their new they way of doing executions? This is an they alien execution. Them. They yeah. send their alien criminals down on a balloon over the U.S. and let the the, the military shoot them down. Oh, God. It's their non-lethal execution process from an advanced culture that has banned actual execution and, you know, in their the, culture. The other issue has to do with just so military my policy. Yeah, have y'all seen the new Jinji the Ito thing the, from Netflix? No. That sounds interesting. I think over Lake Huron oh, no, that not. one of the Ooh. Sidewinder missiles they picked uh, all fired shitty by stories. an F-16. Well, there was one where balloons, mystical balloons come down that's your head, but as a balloon, and it has a little noose, and its whole job is to grab you and pick you up. And float you up. <laughs> miss, That's cute. Miss this target. And these are wow. missiles that uh, cost about $400,000 a piece. Wow. So yeah. why is that the case that these missiles missed a very slow moving target? Yeah, yeah. They shot missiles at it and missed it. We're just shooting like a mm, slow moving target. A couple million dollars at a balloon. It's all good. Like here. <laughs> wow, that is a good question. Doug Luzader for us in Washington, D.C. We appreciate you being there for that us. That is a good question. We can get some Thanks answers so soon. Thank I you. I wonder if we're going to, this is all a ploy from a company that wants to make anti-balloon uh, defense that's cheaper than $400,000 missiles. Look, if these balloons are going to keep coming down. We have what we call the zero-G net, and it will go up and it will retrieve the balloon without any sort of projectile, and it will retrieve it in one piece so we can study it. Uh, yes, uh, first shot missed. Uh, on the fourth balloon. So uh, we're talking about the balloon that was uh, downed over Lake Huron. Uh, the, the first balloon, the Chinese spy balloon uh, that went down over the Atlantic on the South Carolina coast, that was that shot hit. So uh, like look. they're making it sound like they don't think it's all from the same place because he called the first one the Chinese spy balloon, but he's like the other ones. So well, I don't think they've identified them yet publicly, right? Yeah, I don't I know. The How did they identify the first one? Russian. Well, they're not even sure these are balloons for the. the they called it a Chinese three, balloon they? before they even shot it down. The first one, so uh, the second well, one. Well, I, uh, I think that we called the the COVID the Chinese virus I initially didn't. as well. No, we didn't. That uh, was Alaska, a Trump thing. On the north coast of Alaska, that one hit. Trump uh, might have named this balloon that landed in the Yukon. That one hit uh, on the fourth Man, one. Man, he looks short. I mean, he is a secret missed, president. Uh, second shot hit. Uh, so the, the most important thing for the American military is to protect the American people. Uh, so we evaluate oh, the risk. That we evaluate the joke. risk of the balloons Please. themselves. Are they kinetic threat? You've or not? already yes, struck no. us twice. Are all balloons uh, made in China? Do we know that's true? Do they own, do they own helium no. the way they own pandas? Um, are they an intelligence threat? Are they a threat to civil aviation? All those things we go through very, very carefully. Yeah, uh, we determine what the debris into, field is. The uh, commercial flight zone, wasn't it? I think so. Oh, yeah. It flew all the way across the whole country, coast to coast. That was no, the there first was, one, I right? think yeah. that one flew up at the 60,000. It's above commercial flights, but there was one they shot up. I think the Lake Heron one was actually in the same band that commercial flights go for. So that was a danger. The first balloon didn't actually go coast to coast, right? It came in it, through Montana. 
I mean, it might have, it had to have, fl- I mean, there's still coastline up north of there, and if it came from China, it had to have flown over water, right? Like, well, there wouldn't be a, commercial uh, airline space, though, for the coast no. to coast airline space. No, 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 yeah, yeah, it was above it, it was above it. With one of these uh, platforms uh, landing on the Earth's surface or in the water. So we go to great lengths to make sure that the air... Is- it was like 10,000 feet above commercial airline space. space. is clear, and the backdrop is Thank clear. Thank you, Seth. Uh, out to the max effective Apparently range it's of the, the Alaska missile. one. Uh, and in this case, the missiles uh, land, or the missile uh, landed harmlessly in the water of Lake Huron. Uh, we, saw, we tracked it all the way down. Uh, and we made sure that the airspace was clear of any commercial or civilian or recreational traffic. We- it's funny how quick they are to shoot it down now. But the, with the first one, they were like, oh, we don't know. We don't want to shoot it down over land. Do the same thing. Well, these didn't make it over the the actual border, did they? Like, yeah. Like Huron? Or- yeah. Where's the map of the last four? Do we know? Uh, I I have one. Hold on. Time space. I'll find it. Uh, so we're very, very deliberate in our planning. Uh, Northcom uh, does that uh, along with the, the pilots themselves. Uh, so we're very, very careful to make sure that those shots are, in fact, safe. And that's the guidance from the president. Uh, shoot it down, but make sure we minimize collateral damage and we preserve the safety of the American people. $400,000 missile misses the fourth balloon. If there were only been three balloons, they wouldn't have this conversation. They would have been 100%. But that's the problem. <laughs> All right, so we have... What's what's this? Uh, February 1st, the balloon seen over Montana. So these were all shot down just at the Alaskan border for the second one. Uh, the third one was over Canada. The fourth one was over the water, not making it to U.S. soil. So the first one... It was over the Upper Peninsula at one point. It yeah. wasn't shot down over the Upper Peninsula, no, right? No, it was shot yeah, down so over Lake Huron. Yeah, the, none of them were shot down over American land. Other than possibly the Alaska one might have came down at the corner of Alaska where there may have been no inhabitants. Inhabitants? Mm-hmm. International report tonight. U.S. military officials remain on high alert after shooting down three more unidentified aerial objects over the weekend. Officials say the objects likely traveled over sensitive military sites, but they don't have evidence they were equipped for spying or the Alaska one to fell China. into frozen Big water. Question, Billy. Are these aliens? Ooh, though? Billy Bush. It's Billy Bush. That right, and so no. they actually. It'd the, be funny if this guy that he's sitting next to said a bunch of racist stuff, but Billy Bush got fired instead. Because that's because that's his luck. He was he yeah, was just exactly. there when Trump said the grabber by the hoo ha comments, and he got fired, and Trump became president. White House press secretary Corinne Jean Pierre. It's like, what did they expect him to do? Address that today seeing. at the podium. There is no. What well, they expect him to? Uh, citizens arrest. Oh, no indication oh, of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Again, there is no indication of aliens or terrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. That's but let's hear why you disclose. think. Let's hear what you think they're looking at, though. No indication. She didn't say no. Uh, the three objects shot down this weekend over Alaska, Canada, and Lake Huron were reportedly smaller and flying at a lower altitude than the Chinese balloon, which was shot down. So we're, okay, so they, we've established the first one was Chinese. What, where are the other ones from? Have they said yet? No, I don't think so. No. That's what I'm, because they keep specifying the Chinese balloon. They're, they're making it sound like the other ones came from a different place. So well, maybe they were able to yeah. study the balloon itself uh, and they before were, they took it down. They were saying the first one was Chinese before it was taken down, but they haven't really said yeah. anything about these other ones. Yeah, maybe these ones got shot down before they could send... Uh, well, the first one went all the way across America. All so right. there could have been markings on the first balloon that could have been studied through like a lens or something, like a telescopic lens. Could have been visually confirmed that they had origins from China. That could be why they were easy to say it was the Chinese balloon. And these ones could have been taken down before that was confirmed. But when they were taken down, they would have been able to look at it after it But they might down. be keeping that classified information at this point. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm about. thinking that's it. Yeah. On February 4th, that lower altitude posing a risk to civilian air travel. All this is China's foreign ministry now accuses the U.S. of sending high-altitude balloons into Chinese airspace. 10- so now they're saying we're doing it to them? 
10 times oh, come last on. year. Something the administration. I mean, yeah, we probably are. But so they're saying we, you did it to us like 10 times last year. Denies. Yep. For more- I believe it. They're like the administration denies it. Uh. On this, we are joined by retired Marine. But hold on, don't we have like satellites where we can zoom in, uh, like pretty much anywhere? It's fine. yeah. Uh, they might not want to release it publicly. Intelligence mm-hmm. officer, Lieutenant. Right. I'm right. I'm not saying they would. I'm saying why would we need to send balloons when we can just zoom in on them from satellites? And a Colonel Hal Kempfer. Because because China's claim is like, oh, well, you did it to us. It's like, why would we need to? We have like more sophisticated technology. <laughs> Thank nah, you so much sir, for being with us It's just a really tonight. badass party Thank in a military Mark. base. Okay, let's just get Balloon to off bouncing Let off go. of what we heard from the White House and, and their strong stance. This- so hold on. This is like local news fox 11 news billy bush is like a local first news reporter now the chines complained about it no one is saying not even china and there is new orders for americans to leave russia so i'm guessing these others are russia or, or aliens. aliens this is not related to extraterrestrial alien, terrestrial. so if it's not aliens an alien. what could it be god man billy bush's career was killed so bad by trump I know. By just being around Trump. <laughs> and now he's a local news guy. It's like, wow. Man. Whew. Uh, let's check this out. Um, Nikki Haley. I think she was governor of South Carolina. She's yeah. she's running for president against Trump, so she's about to get attacked like crazy. We're taking bets oh, on yeah, whether sure. or not it's Klingons or Romulans. Nikki Haley made it official in. this morning. I'm Both of them have cloaking devices, so they wouldn't we wouldn't be able to see their Nikki balloons. Haley, and I'm running for president. In a video posted on Twitter, the former South Carolina governor and United Nations ambassador talked about her child. Do people just South run Carolina for president now if a current Saturday Night Live host looks like them? It guarantees they get more press because. Someone said, someone in the chest, the local news is better than cable news. Dude, cable news pays way more than, like, the local news. Absolutely more. So, I don't know what you mean by better. Local news is more entertaining because they have a lower yeah. budget and make mistakes all the time. And that's funny. For sure. Yeah. She was blessed to be an American. She also called President Biden. She looks so much like Cecily Strong. She's going to get played on Saturday Night Live easily. It's time for a new generation of leadership to rediscover fiscal responsibility. Secure. She's only running because she looks like Cecily Strong and our purpose. They don't have to cast somebody to play her. Indian immigrants is now the first Republican to officially challenge former President Donald Trump for the 2024 GOP presidential nomination. First, fix your fucking roads in, in order your to make state America first. America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. Trump declared his candidacy in November, and several other Republicans are expected to eventually join the race, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former Vice President... Ron DeSanctimonious. I'm wondering what, because that was the one he had for Ron DeSantis. I wonder, uh, like, what nicknames he'll come up with for, uh, who is it, uh, Haley and, what the fuck, Pence. Icky Nicky. Icky, 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 oh, yeah. That is such a like a like a elementary school insult. That's what he does. Which is I exactly why it'll be Trump. Yeah. Trump Icky Nicky. Mike Pence, former Secretary Mike, of State Mike Pompeo, Mike and Pence, South I Carolina mean, Senator Tim Scott. Mike Pompeo. That sounds like something. Mike Scott Bayo. I don't know. What, what would he say? <laughs> well, I, there's no way I'm topping Mike Scott Bayo. Oh, you can. <laughs> and Biden says he plans to seek re-election in... Calling anyone Scott Bayo oh, is quite an insult. Oh, come on. Don't get re-elected. Oh, fuck. 24. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, The White House. Just, just do controversial shit and fuck off. Don't... Ah. Here's uh here's something about the train derailment in eastern Ohio and how the the there's like all this t- toxic shit in the air and water there now. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Now, have you seen uh anything about the the movie White Noise that came out on Netflix earlier uh and I think it came out in December. It stars no? our guy Adam Driver who we saw in the 65 million um movie trailer. There, there's a, a, a scene in the movie that is 
a lot like this. There was a train derailment, huge black sky chemical spill in the movie, and it was filmed in this area. The extras that were in the movie were from East Palestine and were in this actual traffic thing. It's like a cr eerie coincidence. The book itself, uh, the movie itself, is based on a book that was released in the 1980s. So it's like crazy. They just made this movie, and people that were actually extras in this movie <laughs> are reliving it in real life now. East Palestine are concerned about their waterways and the environment following a train derailment and release of toxic chemicals last week. Some living in the area are still smelling strong chemical odors. Now they're demanding transparency about what toxins might be lurking in local creeks they in the atmosphere. Turn the frogs gay, though. They could potentially they're too busy arresting reporters trying to report on this. The, area the frogs are going to be dead, not the gay. EPA says the village is water. This is now a hate crime. Safe. Residents are worried <laughs> yeah, I got that homes right. with well water may be at risk. And residents say they want long-term testing with the results publicly posted. This is Ohio's version of Flint, Michigan. Meanwhile, in a statement, yeah. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance said... This guy just got elected in this last election here. Immediate environmental testing in the area should not be permission slip to pack up and go home. The senator went on to call the derailment a complex environmental disaster and says that long-term study will be imperative. Okay. Yeah, there was another train derailment in Houston and in South Carolina, too. And it was all cargo trains, right? Freight trains? None I of it was so. passenger. Then, yeah, well, this was big chemicals. Yeah. And then there's UFOs, train derails. Yeah. It's pretty much, I don't know, I don't know if you guys have seen the new M. Night Shyamalan movie, <laughs> but there's somebody somewhere in a cabin that needs to kill their gay dad so we can live. I didn't spoil anything, by the way. It's in the trailer. For those of you that haven't seen the new M. Night Shyamalan movie. Ooh. Could he disappear? Could he disappear? Could he disappear? <laughs> Become a square space. No. Dude, you know the website shape. that creates websites? All right. Uh, we'll check in with Cobra a little bit, and then we'll nice. check out some of our new actual mania promos, too. Railroad company is at fault for accident. I wonder if these are coordinated black water attacks against Warren Buffett. There is a conspiracy theory we could look into. Obviously. A conspiracy theory. Happy Valentine's Day, King Cobra JFS. So was he sprouting stuff about broads in this one? Thank you, YouTube, for lifting my ban. I thoroughly appreciate it. Welcome back. My main channel got a uh, strike from my asshole trolls. It is what it is. So guess what? I'm aware of the Casper Cobra Stoppers and the uh, Cobra <laughs> Death Troopers. Those were the people shoving the letters under Secret his door. Plan. Oh, I know you don't like that. They're going to create a new flyer using my ex-girlfriend's boobs and her oh boyfriend to be standing over it. They're, they're planning on installing cameras all over the apartment complex so they can watch my every move. They're also planning on putting up a sign... It says, welcome to the bog zone. And it's like, you're stupid, dude. That's a lot of effort just to fuck with somebody. You know what's sad about troll shit? I, I do not know if that's unironically true or not. All that is, is uh, documented truth. <laughs> now, your boy King Cobra got a strike the other night when I was shouting out one of my cancer-ridden autistic fans. And I thought that was kind of horseshit, so I let YouTube know what's up. And then I went, and then I literally risked, you know, ban evasion to prove my point. But YouTube was like, nah, man, Cobra's a good dude, and fuck his trolls. That's so, it. Wouldn't that be funny if that was literally the message from YouTube? You're a good <laughs> guy. You're a good dude, Cobra. Fuck your trolls. Signed Susan Wojcicki, who's also part Boglum. 
actually gave me my live privileges back. To- yeah, we were <laughs> throwing around the idea of a new segment called Boglum of the Week, where once a week we'll pick someone famous or notable, maybe even someone from history, like back, you know, hundreds of years ago, and be like, hey, is this person a Boglum? And then we'll, we have to figure out like five to ten characteristics that someone must possess to be at least part Boglum. And then we'll have the people vote on whether or not they're a boglum and you know maybe be like oh th- this person's 25% boglum is he is or is he isn't yes or valentine's a day and i really thoroughly appreciate that now to return the favor all i ask for you is to continue supporting me on youtube what that does is support the youtube algorithm and it keeps youtube fed and happy see see how that works out for a lot of people. YouTube needs you know. fed. I do have a uh, exactly. Bud Light. This is for 21 and up. I got five Bud Lights left and a uh, White Claw Black Cherry left. And tomorrow's oh, Valentine's shit. He's almost going to go dry. I don't care if I have alcohol, man. I just want to go live let you know I'm doing all right. You know, and fuck the trolls. They're fucking miserable. Someone did, in that call I was in with Cobra, though, someone made a good point that you know, it could be the trolls, but it's also people who came over from Instagram that might not be aware of him and they hear him say the maggot with an F word and that kind of thing. Uh, and th- when you flag something like that, it can be easy to. Could be. Yeah. yeah for YouTube's. Yeah. yeah. I, honestly, because tomorrow's Valentine's Day, I want to say this. I appreciate all the love my trolls give me. You guys care more than my fans. Oh, holy shit. No, I mean, once again, Cobes, you making the mistake of thinking that there's a difference. There are there are uh, friendly trolls and malicious trolls. Mostly, oh, yeah, for sure. That he deals with. Watch my videos. I'm Baguette with an F is your favorite word, Nancy Shrew. Is that French bread? Well, with uh, Cancel. fucksicos. But I'm pretty responsible with that. If I tell a kid friendly joke and it's not too bad and there's no alcohol, you know. I comply with YouTube's rules. No alcohol? I submitted no, my he cannot to comply YouTube. with that. I was rule. like, hey, man, I'm extremely autistic. My trolls are obsessed with bullying me. And uh, I let YouTube have it without being too mean, you know? It's not a, it's not a, a okay, it's not an, a crutch. He's, he's using autism as more of a flag. He's waving the autism flag around like, hey, I surrender. It was my autism. A little different than a crutch. Slightly different than a crutch. Problem as a concerned content creator. You know, a lot of fans on Valentine's Day are going to be single and lonely. So it's like, who cares if you ain't getting none, man? Yeah, shout out to all of our fans watching right now who aren't getting any. We Mm -hmm. will give it all to you. This right, this episode tonight, you could tell everybody you got screwed the same way we got screwed by playing those Super Bowl ads. You got screwed with us. F in the chat if you're getting F to the chat. The soap works, players. Yeah, at least you I didn't kill your wife. You know that the soap, you know what I'm saying? You wear that soap and women just instantly. That dude smells good. And if you got a girlfriend that you're attached to and she's attached to you, she's going to be all over you, dude. You got a wife I'm telling you right now, dude. My Super Bowl Sunday was grand. A buddy Waltz wanted the Chiefs to win, so I said, to the universe, I said, let the Chiefs win. Oh, wow. Cobes beautiful- steered the game. <laughs> Shabiz- For Walt. F- Flock of Possum was watching me and Shabisky do our live reaction to the Super Bowl. And uh, we just randomly, because like, neither of us liked either team. And Shabisky doesn't follow football. So like, I was like, I'll go for the Eagles and you can go for the Chiefs. you know, And... Shabisky saw the Chiefs fans in the crowd doing the oh like like the tomahawk chop thing for the Chiefs <laughs> and Flock of Possum clipped that and went over to our Discord and was and tagged Honest Red like look at Shabisky being racist towards Native Americans. Oh no. And Flock of Possum kept going going over there and and stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. I can't it, believe Shabisky did that. It was ridiculous. How dare he? I don't know why people are saying we're effing. I didn't see anything. It was a joke from earlier. Oh, okay. It was very funny. Chips, wings, dips, and homemade brownies. I tried the uh, Doritos barbecue. 
Oh, they are delicious at Doritos. They are. To thank fair, you, Cove. Fucking wasted while watching. They are. Do, the so barbecue that. Doritos are like the only flavor of Doritos that's actually a different flavor than every other flavor of Doritos. There's two flavors of Doritos. Barbecue's the official third flavor. Everything else is either a brand of Cool Ranch or a brand of nacho cheese. But the barbecue is an actual. Real flavor. Is there a difference yeah. between the nacho cheese and taco flavor? Barely. The, I mean, is, there is. But is it like, like more subtle? Like the taco flavor is like... The taco flavor has less of a cheese to it, okay. more of like a beefiness, but it's around the similar flavor. And they stopped making that until they did like the throwback, Tacos right? were the first flavor. I know that was the original. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbecue, though. Now, I'll have to now, try some barbecue for It cantalizes like the that, tongue with a smoky, tangy sweetness. I wanted to... I wanted to, I just got confirmation from the last person. Uh, I, I want to just put this out there officially. We have the official Actual Mania roster. Ooh. Uh, Actual Mania, uh, the eradication accommodation takes place on Monday, February 27th. Here's the official card. <clears throat> Main event, special guest referee match for the world title. Ben, the champion, versus Jess Bro. The audience will pick the special guest referee between Simple Country, Teddy Rubskin, or Billy the Fridge. And we will vote on that probably in a couple episodes here. We'll vote on that early. Um, then there's the eradication accommodation match. It is a six-man elimination chamber style match. The winner will go on to be the number one contender at next month's Actual Mania. Uh, and that uh, those six contenders will be Simple Country, Kuro, Dr. Piss, Smarty, Teddy Rubskin, and Dr. Gas Mask. Multiple doctors? Yes. Yep. Then uh, we are going to have a Cringerweight title match. Egghead defending the Cringerweight title against Big Cat Scott Hansen. Ooh. That's I I don't know how you're going to survive this, Egghead. You can't offer to send him a dick pic. It's not uh, it's not going to work like it did last time. Hey, so man, I trust, with something I trust good. Egghead can pull some cringe out of his ass. <laughs> I mean, he might have to put something into his ass to win this one. Um, he put a taser there. And then our, our opener, this is almost like a quadruple main event here because every match in this is huge. Tag team title four-way match, Auntie Jesse and the Court of Owls will be defending their tag team championship against three other teams, Flock Ooh. of Possum and Rat Lord versus Captain Kool-Aids and the Necromancer versus... John from Dude. Finland and Ruby Jewels. That is Whoa. the four-way tag team championship match. That's one Slurpee away from a, a, a headache, a, a, a brain freeze, right there. Oh, oh God! Yeah. Action. I, Josh, you got to stop doing this. It probably smells like like stale beer in there. Because when, didn't already. when beer mixes with air over a few days and like hardens and stuff, it smells really bad. It's it it smells like a dive bar. The basically. question is, how nasty does a room have to be where stale beer is a is like an upgrade? Pretty nasty because stale beer. I mean, flies will start to grow around it. We probably don't think that his apartment is nastier than stale beer, right? I think the stale beer adds to the overall nasty factor. Yeah, about to say, because we know stale beer is at least in there. One time I was eating at this bar that was also a restaurant, and I sat near the bar, and it smelled like stale beer so badly at it that it grossed me out, and I couldn't even eat at the bar. Mm. Um, it was... Uh, Burger McFeely's? No, no. Uh, the The Lodge... You know the lodge? They're like a chain. And the one I'm talking about was the it closed. It was the one that was near the train they station. They shut it down for stench beer. I don't know why it shut down, but it's closed now. And it was and those like little beer flies were flying everywhere. Hmm. Uh it was gross. You know, there, that might be why it closed down. It might be. <laughs> a live beer trick. But see, he's gotta They're feed the bugs in the chair. So give him a bit of beer, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day for my fans and for YouTube for letting me back on 
to their website. Thank you very much. Cobes is willing to have a goddamn beer bash. The fangirls. You know how many fucking chicks will fucking text me and go, are you King Cobra? I love your videos. I'm like sitting there going, yeah, hold up a second. (laughs) Hold up. Why Why do you want to see my butthole? I'm your biggest fangirl. I love you, Cobra. (laughs) What if it turns out that girl that wanted to see Cobra's butthole? Was actually Trumpster Bob on a fucking sock account? Way higher than it being a girl wanting to see his butthole. Trump's the chances of it, 100%. yes. It needs to stop trolling for holes. Appreciate it. And half the time it's the YouTube trolls trying to catfish me for dick pics. Yes. Was- yeah, yeah, Crystal. It was funny because he was all embarrassed after Crystal like pointed that out to him. He was like, all right. Trolls it's okay. We all want love. I want Cobes Plaka, to keep his hopes Plaka, up. Plaka, leave Cobes alone. I saw that picture of him spreading his butt cheeks because it was it was on her Discord. I'm gonna call the cops on you. You wouldn't comment on whether it was you. grosser than. You I didn't would look expect. at it. I didn't examine it. I saw it. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. Friend's house. On top of that, I have fans in the police department. So you're just gonna get arrested for harassing people. There you go. Cops on the but payroll. You're fucking stupid, YouTube. It's it's exhausting to a point, yes, but it shows you that I'm famous. Otherwise, they wouldn't care. <laughs> it the shows other, you the trolls aren't famous. I think sadder than Ellen not not giving me a chance or my fucking YouTube oh my trolls, and that's really saying something. Wait, how long ago was it Ellen Knight again? I mean, he still is after Ellen Knight. That's why he hangs out at her parents' house all the time. Oh, yeah, that was the girl he's not stalking, but stalking. Yeah, okay, it, yeah. yeah and he bought them, like, thanksgiving or christmas dinner or something one year too and he he used to he used to take a lot of his dono money and buy her like tickets to black veil brides concert and shit like that doing what he can to try and sway the admiration of a of a potential suitor she says no doesn't mean angie and walt have to suffer Mm -hmm. well on the side don't simp don't simp like that man he's got nothing better to do the fuck alone you it ain't tricking if you got it. <laughs> okay. Well, what are, what are we looking are at here? Being made aware of what y'all are doing. The and carpet maybe, looks stickier than a fly strip. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that stuff is on the carpet, but it's been Probably there bleach. for years. Probably from when he bleached his pants. Probably. You're right. Oh. Yeah. Being like a pothead, yeah. you know, 70s goth hippie type. It does you know. look like bleached stuff. I'm not stuff. no snitch bitch, but like when it comes... He should be bleaching his pants like in his bathtub or something could like you that. tell if his anus was bleached no i didn't i didn't examine it you you're very curious about it though you should go look you if just you need to see i'd it. rather not okay then stop asking He's me about it then. if you're not willing to look boxes. yourself then you shouldn't You've be asking already been to the hole. I, told, I already explained to you like that i didn't look at it i, 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 I have to ask no you don't I have to. if you want to know that bad go look at it yourself i don't need you know what we should do we should commission T Bob to study it. We should get T Bob the butthole, give him like ten bucks so he could buy beer. Say T Bob, will you t- study this butthole? Tell us if it passes the butthole challenge. Make a video and send it to us judging this butthole. That's what we got to do. The that's, only person to ever win it would be Cobes. Yes, I agree with this. That's money right there. If one of you guys wants to try and talk to T Bob. Send him a friggin' uh, bottle of uh, b- b- Bud Light <laughs> Platinum off of Cobes Counter. Keystone. Keystone. Me. And if they weren't, they wouldn't try so hard to fuck with me. <coughs> Not in the closet, Netra Amorosi. I don't need to look at you buttholes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing of it. The trolls are going to be so pissed off, and it's like Cobra's live. I thought we banned him. I thought we banded together. The cast of uh-huh. Cobra Stompers couldn't stop Cobra, and it's couldn't so stop Cobra right now. Mm-hmm. Trolls lose. I own their pathetic you lives. Go live and drink on camera, boy. He did though. Mm-hmm. Was he banned off YouTube when you were hanging out with him? Yeah, that was during it. That's why we talked about it. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, Cobra, you better not go live and drink on camera, boy. I gave him some encouragement uh, after uh, the stream was ended and we talked like behind the scenes for a little while because he was pretty bummed out about it. And it's like, dude, if anyone's stalking anyone... Because I told him how many times that's happened to me over the years. When it's my fucking YouTube trolls, they want to call me a fucking stalker, but I've left Ellen the fuck alone. And if her parents dig me and I enjoy their company, who cares? 
It doesn't have to be about Ellen. The worst yeah. thing Cobra's done to Ellen recently is eat her dog's bacon strips. That was gross. That was it. No. What? It's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. Okay, this, this is Cobra who I did not know. Once you get some friends your own age. I'm like, who cares if Walt and Angie are older than me, dude? Sounds like you need friends more than I do. Ouch, got him. Cobra's oh, wait, hold on. Is that, did he sit on a bug? Uh, that's probably just like a hole in the chair or something. Uh, could be a myriad of things. He moved in there two years ago, two and a half-ish, and that chair was brand new. Was <laughs> it brand new? I believe it was. It I was, thought it was used even then. I don't think so, it, and it looked very clean. Someone did like a side-by-side -side and said how long it was like before it looked really super clean. And then, I thought oh, it had the rip in it when he got it, but I guess so. maybe I'm wrong. I figured he got a nice used chair and cobra fight it. Yeah, so yeah, your boy Cobra is pre-gaming for Valentine's Day, bro. This is what it's I got. It's your boy Cobra, and I'm back on the cut. And of course, mm -hmm. I got some uh, Bud Lights. And I'll gladly sit here and drink them all on camera for you. This is for 21 and up. Not an alcoholic. You must be old enough to consume alcohol. Oh, God, my liver hates just looking at this. Yeah, uh, so I. He, it's he got it in January of 2021. Yeah, Seth Luke says it's the chair his dog died in. It wasn't as gross, but it wasn't new. I don't know okay. if he's trolling right now with right it, now it with might, the dog death. I thing. don't know if if he's if it's if it's serious. Seth looks if it's not trolling, and the dog died in that chair, then this has come full circle. So, so yeah, the the cut is not there, or is it there? Uh, no, it, it was there. It is it was there. Up. Yeah, it's just not as pronounced. Yeah, her marks the, new, but but on the on the the butt cushion part of it, there's no tear like there is on the bottom. Oh yeah, so like yeah, this is only a few months apart, you know, like <laughs> it's yeah, and there's it's quite months. Lighting. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even a whole literally year. literally as long as it would take a baby to gestate from inception to yeah, birth. Yeah. <laughs> so, and if you're a younger fan of mine. Uh, just wait till you're old enough to enjoy <laughs> tobacco and alcohol. The dog did die in that chair. It is, has come full circle. God damn it. You sons of bitches. I told myself I wasn't going to cry. Now, one of my fans <laughs> sent me a, uh, a mug from the uh, Cobra Texas Brewing Company, and they know I like Cobras. So check that it's out. fine. You don't need a clean glass to just have well, alcohol in it. Alcohol sanitizes it. You're now looking back going, shit, I could have given that guy a chance. You got to say to yourself, you know what? If you don't want to date me, that's your loss, not mine. Even True. if you don't have a whole lot to mm -hmm. offer the dating scene, you got to have confidence in yourself. So, yeah, I'll fuck with White Claw. My favorite flavors are mango. I ain't going to lie. That's your boy's favorite White Claw flavor. Favorite flavor. King Cobra lines. with the mango spicy That's Sprite. Mm -hmm. Oh, about to say, what's he going to mix in? A little Bud Light. <laughs> a little mango. Oh, God. Oh, too much head. Like, oh, off. no, it, it died down. Uh -huh. It they dissipated. Did, yeah. Somebody just love yourself. And King okay. Cobra's one of those guys, there's never too much head. Mixing white claw, black cherry with Bud Light, that's actually not happening. Well, like there's there's not enough. Uh, yeah. Cobra told me if a girl wanted to, he she could suck it for days and he wouldn't pop. Well, a lot of YouTubers who are famous like I am, or if not... He told me that in a well, dream. Well, the whiskey deck, I can famous. almost believe that. You know, they're going to have backup channels. I would rather dedicate my time to making myself more famous and putting. <laughs> that was bellowing. And putting, you know, work into what I do on YouTube. Get better at guitar. Come up with the next crazy drink combo kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Get better at guitar. I had to get better at guitar recently. No, tomorrow I'm pretty much going to spend doing what I love doing. I love to play guitar and I love to make wands. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow for Valentine's Day. I'll be making some wands for Etsy. It's, it's a good idea. Oh, I wonder yeah. if he casted a, uh, like a love spell uh, to a end the dry spell. Sweet wand package. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still working on it, but like buy a, buy a plane ticket to Amsterdam. Like, you know, that I should be what plan. happens. You should go to Amsterdam with Cobes. You know your way around. He can go down the red it's light a, district. Amsterdam is a small city, like compared you, to a lot of other cities. You think Cobes can get a passport and leave the country? As long as he doesn't have like a criminal record that would prevent that, which I don't think he does, because no. I think I think his only uh, arrest was this uh, Christmas one. Someone else could enlighten me, but yeah, I no, mean, it's just a drunk tank, though. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't charged with a crime, so yeah. Uh, of the package to where it's perfect. And now I just got one more little time. I can't end Cobra's dry spell, Netra Amorosi, not on my own. He's not into boys. He wants hot goth I'm glad girls. You hate Cobra. I don't give a shit. Above. Thanks for watching my video, bud. Which mood? I don't even care if I have money for alcohol tomorrow. I want a little ham. On the uh, spending bike. And, and you know what? You know what the easiest way to get around Amsterdam is? Bicycle? Riding bike when the weather, weather is permits. permitted. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Could you imagine you and Cobra riding bikes around Amsterdam? You take them to the insane. Red Light District and showing them uh, all the, a good all the time? coffee shops. They you guys, call coffee shops. You guys there. could drink and party and hang out, and he could have sex all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. I mean, he's gonna. That does not cheap. Super Bowl party. It's not that expensive, though, right? What is it like? Well, I mean, like someone said, it was. It just varies, you know. 50, 60 euros. Well, that's to get things started. Usually, the epic dude. We had some. It's it's kind of like Spirit Airlines, if you know what I mean. I won't fly Spirit, and I won't have sex with prostitutes. Spirit Airlines for money. Bone in wings, both hot and spicy. I'll pro bono. Buffalo. If you want an upgrade, a there's a charge. Garlic Parmesan wings from Pizza I would Hut. definitely go with that upgrade. Hey, fuck I wonder if there's any girls out like there crazy. that are fans of sexy gothic bad boy King Cobra JFS. Give them the, the squeal of a deal. Pink champagne drink combo. YouTube probably looking at that going, yeah, that's entertaining as fuck. A lot of people like his content. Yeah, you know what? Fuck his trolls. You're on band. People are like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the cops on you, Cobra, because you're doing true drugs. beefy mistake." When I have I'm sex like, with prostitutes, it's so that they can know what love feels realize like. Realize that I have fans in the in the fucking police department. I'm like Magic Mike, but instead in town, of dancing, I eat. And you do realize that they don't give a shit if I smoke pot. They're like, "We've got bigger things to worry about than some autistic dude smoking weed for his schizophrenia." I love that guy's profile. So I, I think he self-diagnosed himself with schizophrenia. I don't think he was diagnosed with it. The trolls get so mad when I clink my glass. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> Better not clink that glass, boy. Uh, Damn, Cubs. Nice. No, my Super Bowl Sunday was amazing. At this point, I consider Walt and Angie family, and, you know, the trolls are just assholes. They don't get it, and they don't have to get it because they're losers. My trolls could find an Ellen Knight of their own, except they're more obsessed with harassing Cobra. <laughs> Hold up. See that. Your tr the trolls can find an Ellen Knight of their own? You mean they can find a girl that doesn't want them of their own? <laughs> That's and, and, we, and he pretty... did say, I, d did you just self-report there? Pretty sure everybody can find a girl that doesn't want them of their own. Crap, it's like... I mean, I got plenty like of those. Bully people yeah, Natalie Portman, baby, here we go. Oh, you're yeah. a loser. It's what it is. Trying people to see if we can rent a Model T in Amsterdam. You don't need a car in Amsterdam. I just think it would be dope to have... The cubs. streets are really small. Like, like it's hard to... It, it, most of the cars in Amsterdam, like, especially in the city center have to be really small to fit on the roads because all of the streets have canals down the center of them. Is so a Model the, T pretty small? I mean, I'm talking like two-seater, like battery-powered. It would be kind of hard to find a Model T there, too. Yeah, that's why I'm looking. Yeah. Well, See, like, this is... This is a street in Amsterdam. Like most of it, mostly the cars. This is a video I took the last time I was there. I wanted to capture like how many people ride bikes there. That's why bikes are the quickest getting around there, because it's mostly like pedestrian stuff. But yeah. Oh, I think Amsterdam would be a blast. 
It's pretty. It's it's a very laid back kind of place. Arge- Argentinian steakhouses are big there. You see a lot of those. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, I never expected that one. There's like a little uh, like Chinatown area in it. It's it's a nice place, but I can already see two Argentinian steakhouses just right here. Just I see Argentinos. <laughs> yeah, and then there's another one that lo- like down there that looks like a little bull in the sign. That's another one right there. There's a lot of Indonesian restaurants too. Huh. Um, huh. Yeah. Uh, let's check out some of. Uh, let's check out some of these actual so the mania. Bowl is a, is Argentina steakhouse as well. Yes. The damn steakhouse. Yeah. There's there's a lot of them there. Um, I saw a place Everyone called. Get hype. I saw a place called Pimp Steak when I was there. Uh, that I, I sent a picture of it to Pimp Monk because it had like a little pimp. Um, there's this like American sports bar, like American style sports bar in Amsterdam. And when I was there, they had this crazy deal on barbecued ribs. Let me see what it was. It was, it was like this crazy all you can eat deal. Uh, I wonder I don't remember. I'll I'll have to have that prepared. That's one thing I would hate about Amsterdam. Going finding good food, eating so much that I have to crap. And all the toilets there are super small. Would, nah, uh, no, not really in Amsterdam. I think, think I they're about the same size. Toilet there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um But I'm trying to think of uh Yeah, um there's a street food that's really popular in Amsterdam that most Americans would probably think is gross. They basically take a herring and slice it up, and then you eat it with, like, onions and pickles on the street. Yeah, I've seen that in places. Yeah. We got to uh, get Pimp Monk. We got to get King Cobra. Oh, my God. This is... You got to go to Amsterdam. Go getting to more and steak. more unlikely. Is it satellite? Maybe I can uh, get Pimp Monk and uh, Airsoft Fatty to come out. Airsoft Fatty, when he was here in Seattle, we went down to Aurora to look at prostitutes. And one of the prostitutes was trying to get him to buy her, and he was like, he turned her down. I think she felt kind of hurt that Airsoft Fatty wouldn't smash. Oh, no. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Satellite Sports Cafe. All you can eat unlimited spare ribs. For eleven ninety five, is pimp a boglum? No, you don't think pimp monks boglum? No, he does have some boglum tendencies. All right, uh... there's soft fatty big time in these Seattle prostitutes. Backwoods boglum. <laughs> We're about to catch another strike. (laughs) No, I have people send me like evidence that that it's not copyrighted. Nice. Kuro. A future drunken peasant's actual mania movie. At least the funny survive. Actual Mania movie, The Yaya Ba War, The Corruption of the Tactile Soap. Anyone at all time, all of the Discord and Patreon could be directed, edited, and produced by Ruby Jules. The film, the movie. The game. In some unknown random place in the world of Boglums where it is Halloween and Christmas every day. Is this a okay, drink combo? The, I think so. Sorry to look like a drink combo. Does Pimp Monk do drink dude. combos? Pimp Monk doesn't drink. Oh, so he can't be a boggle. <sighs> That's most definitely what's up, Tubes. Oh. Oh. Nice house you got there, Ruby Jewels. Mm-hmm. Much better than this basement I'm currently Hello in. Hello there, France. Hello. It's me. Dumpster you... Auntie Jess. Oh, no. I wanted to teach you today how to eat your ice cream sandwich. 
Oh no. Ooh. It occurs to me that no bongalum could probably afford to eat them a ice cream sandwich. Oh. Open your mouth. Hey, hey now, most bongalums spend their money on liquor. Whoa. You can't blame him. Whoa. Let's take smaller bites. Auntie Jesse. A bongalum, such as King Cobra, GFS. He wouldn't be able to eat something like this. Because if he had him an ice cream sandwich, he would include all kinds of Doritos and Mountain Dew. And hell, that's just not that good. Whoa. That's most definitely what's up. The thing about King Cobra. He's got 50,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube. King Half Cobra. Way. Has produced several musical albums, and they sell out, even though they're on cassette tape. Pimpy within 24 should be hours. as a false boglam or su boglam. You expect white trash and bam, he whips out a chalice pinky out, reads and actually understands Sun Tzu, a classy man. Release every mm -hmm. single one of them. The boglams. Well, I've only really ever seen one. Kink Cobra, GFS. Kink Cobra? Like. Kink Cobra. What we're going against Ooh, is sexy. Never had a dry Some smell. Motherfucking Poslums. All right. Oh, no. Poslums. Whoa, shots Poslums. fired. Leaves the server every two fucking weeks. Shots fired. Did you know? Do you know what he, he, he is? He's a sacred Poslum. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, God. I, I wasn't going to say nothing, but it seems it is my duty to the American people and, and every people. It is my duty. She said duty. To mm -hmm. get up in here and tell you all that an ice cream sandwich is a delectable treat. Mm. I mean, I you sure. Them if you are a bottle of them. Not without some Doritos or Mountain Dew or a fucking but a lot involved. Sick ass guitars. There you go. There's that. Here's Captain mm -hmm. Cool AIDS. Hello, everybody. Is Poslum's hate I, speech? Captain Cool AIDS. And I'm here to talk to the DP Universe because I've been spending the last few days meditating on some questions like That's why not our didn't face I make a side. video for the Regal Tussle instead of just using my promo that was supposed to be for the Regal Tussle as my Regal Tussle video? Why is my time management so bad? Why is that list that my handler gave me include a bunch of people who weren't even the fucking in the regal tussle? Why is this information so bad? Why didn't I just put the laundry behind the curtain? But those aren't important. Those all pale in comparison to the big question. And that is, who hacked the feed during Captain Kool-Aid's regal tussle promo video? Whoa. And at first I thought it was the CIA, but I realized... They probably got bigger fish to fry, and if they wanted to hack, they would have hacked it beforehand, before I even mentioned the CIA and how they were spreading AIDS down in Peru and South America and the world. Oh, no, 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 I think it's somebody else. And it couldn't be Gatorades, because he had AIDS, too, and he didn't have no Kool-Aid, because that's hard to find. They only had it out in Peru from a secret supplier, and uh, I think he might have died, honestly. So that leaves only one person, the person I was going to call out in my video. And that was you, Egghead. That's oh, right, I see you. Everyone I always calling Egghead out. Video. You had a little... Egghead little was the Grim Reaper, and he asked to be Coney hot. Celebrity somehow. And then up came you, but you was dressed as a shepherd. And uh, only somebody like you would have the gall to mock my hacking like that. Right after you did it, you are my prime suspect. And I know deep down in the cockles of my heart... Cockles? <coughs> now let me tell you something. You like spoiling wrestling pay-per-views in the DP server. Well, let me tell you something right now, wicked. Let me tell you, fucker. I'm gonna spoil your wife. Whoa! To some no. Succulent lobster dinner. You mm, lore. All the entrees you that she desires, and then she's gonna desire me. Whoa! Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. Whoa! And I will be her refreshment. 
So listen up, Mr. Eggfucker. Egghead just announced he's single, so Captain Kool-Aid's succeeded. So his wife? Wow. Yeah. His that wife's was quick. Fuck. And that his, was quick, Egghead's Egghead. wife is eating for yeah. two? Wow. wow. She's eating lobster for two? It's and because we all know, hearts. we all know Egghead's willing to sling around his dick. He better watch out for talking about them cock holes. And I want the gold, sucker. I'm coming there for you, Egghead. And I'm cracking eggs. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. By the way, when I was talking about how small cars are there, this is a picture of a car that I took when I was there. That's the little <laughs> car, homie, right there. That is so small. It's like My battery power. Three years ago. So this is who she went with. Damn, Egghead. Yeah. There you go. She's got the Kool-Aids. He, he built now. a time machine and went back in time back, and did that. Back, forth, and forth. Mm -hmm. The Boglum Allies, John the General, Dr. Gasmas. Those are our briefings on who the Boglums are fighting with this actual mania. Dr. Gasmas is the nuclear power. Fight with the Boglums. Ya ya ba, this is Boglum War. Dr. Gasmas, can you please contact me? Thank you. Everything will be confidential and anonymous. He said, as this on a video. Oh, no. Be careful what you wish for. No. <laughs> well, he said, no. Looks like Dr. Gasmas is not. He's not interested. Part of the Boggle Moor. No. Official. Hmm. Whoa. Now how, Whoa. now, how will Ruby deal without having the nuclear power by his side? This is a message directed towards my potential actual mania opponent, Scott Henson. <laughs> oh, it's confirmed. Scott, it's, 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 it's no doubt that you're a fan favorite. It's no doubt that you are actually 100% very talented when it comes to the world of pro wrestling. You have won championships in pro wrestling, so I will give you that. I will give you props for that. But we're not talking about pro wrestling here. We're talking about actual mania. My realm. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about cringe. <laughs> My big realm. cat. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried to hold it together. <laughs> you haven't done jack shit. Was that a Joe Biden impression? This is my realm, Jack. In actual mania. You haven't done a goddamn thing in actual mania. No, you haven't. In my realm, you've competed multiple times, sure, but you haven't won a goddamn title. You've competed for tag team championship glory. You've competed even for the cringeway championship before, and you failed. You failed. I, on the other hand, have won multiple times that title. I've been champion, cringeweight champion, world champion, multiple times. And especially when it comes to the cringeweight championship, buddy, you're talking to the king of cringeweights. You're talking to the king of cringe, dear. I will do whatever it takes to keep what is rightfully mine. I am the, I was the first ever cringeweight champion. I had the longest reigning championship reign in actual mania history. Longest. Mm -hmm. I am the six time cringeweight champion. I have won most titles in this company, in this show. I will do whatever it takes to keep what is rightfully mine, especially from you, a person who does nothing but badmouths me every single chance he gets, and yet I'm just sitting here minding my own business, relaxing and talking and watching a show, and then gun comes a wrestler who can't even get on the fucking AEW dark. Whoa. Ooh. Why is Egghead so angry? Come. How's Scott going to deal with that? I will do something that I've never done before in actual mania's history. Teddy Rubb's going to suggest Egghead's going to eat his own dick. Hmm. I will go or be deeper. Packed. 
do more diff- so he'll do something he's never done and he'll go he's willing to go deeper so i mean so uh, he, that that says that a lot on. is he getting a colostomy camera disgusting things than i've ever done in my life i'll see you there scott oh no one thing oh, i do no. have to say scott remember this is a cringe competition and egghead is a cringy cringy motherfucker <laughs> Yeah. Egghead says he's going to have sex with Jeffrey just to beat Scott for the Cringerway title. Sweet! I cannot wait for that. Jeffrey is pretty open now about his sexuality ever since he hooked up with that love love interest last month. It's going to be so much fun to torture Shabisky. God, man. You going to do a lot of edging? No, no. No, no. Uh, I uh, I usually only mow the lawn. I don't do the edge work. What's the torture going to be? Oh, you know, like the shock oh, collar. The zap collar? Yeah, yeah. Well, well fun. Well, I thought you were like hang dabs in front of him right, right out of his reach. He'd have to keep grabbing. That might be never part of it. it. That might be part of it. He's going to want those dabs, Ben. He likes his dabs. Yeah, so those are uh, th- those are the promos I got for now. Um, I'm saving, uh, you know, like if, if you made some, uh, and I haven't gotten to them yet, I'll, uh, I'll play them on the next episode. We don't hey, want yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. of them in, yeah. you know, God, man, this, this show was just, we got that weird copyright thing and it took the wind out of our sails. Yeah. Everybody watching Ooh, right now stuck things. with us. Despite the multiple takedowns, all because we were playing commercials. <laughs> I mean, all of those commercials are. Uh, I found a compilation of it, but I guarantee you can find every one of those commercials individually uploaded. Out People there too. pay to have those commercials seen. Right. We were exactly. doing them a solid. Right. Sheesh. What is what has capitalism come to? I know. Can't even give away advertising. What the f- what the fun? What the fun? Yeah. Um, one last tip, train. Uh, if, if you guys want to help us out, because make it to three hundred. We're you know, doing three shows in a row. We're doing another show tomorrow. We're doing another show the day after that, and then we have the private show right then and there. That's a lot of shows. That's a lot of shows in a I row. Know. Yeah, I, that's He's another like, thing I want to remind you guys. Uh, who is worse coming up this Friday? I don't actually know. I, I don't really have an opinion yet on this. We're going to have to sit down and analyze the data. You know. Ooh, that is interesting. Seven people have died since you told Egghead that his his donos wouldn't matter if he announced deaths. We haven't got any of that sweet Egghead money off. Seven deaths now. Egghead, Oof. please start paying to, to spoil deaths again. Please, Egghead. <laughs> Stop giving people AIDS. There's seven true. people that have died that we, we don't know about. And by the way, I just DM'd Egghead's promo directly to his opponent so that uh, he's, you know. The most rotten, no good. Who's got the worst facial hair? You know, Brett. Brett's beard is a facial hair is a lot different now. He used, This was a time where he was still trying to shave a lot. Um, but now he's got more of a beard. I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think I like Trumpster Bob's facial hair better. Yeah. He's got a Santa look going on. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's going to be an interesting one. If you guys have any categories you think these two should compete in, uh, feel free to drop them in the discord, uh, comments on, uh, and we'll maybe add them to the criteria. For the voting for who is worse. We have some ideas of our own, but it's always better when we include our fans, our lovely fans. Because sometimes, I, you'll never hear me say this again, sometimes you guys are smarter than we are. The last time I'm acknowledging that, though. You dumb shits. Hey, we got a Clips channel uh, on the Discord. Yeah, um... Mouth breathing. Did you hear uh, Ethan Ralph's Twitter got banned? For what? 
<laughs> what do you mean? Like, <laughs> the only reason he didn't get banned is because for the longest time, a check mark really protected you, and they wouldn't even review reports on you if you had a check mark. Really? Yeah, and he got away with, I mean, like, he straight up doxxed people or, like, linked to doxing and all kinds of stuff over the years. And then what happened was everyone a bunch of people who reported him like years ago got the like we received your report and then he was just gone right after that hmm. yeah yeah i mean like most people i'd be like what did what did they do it's like <laughs> like he's one person it should be pretty clear he d- he did so much stuff to get banned press us everyone after this long, I wonder uh, what it would be. That's why I asked. Something got lifted that was protecting him at one point. I don't know. Yeah, because like he's gotten away with so much. I'm like, what? What guy yeah. finally got him? It, it was, was just like out of nowhere, and then all these people that had reported him over the years got the like confirmation notification. Uh, no wonder my follower count went down by one. This by week. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's few guys that actually there at Twitter actually finally doing, hey, why not? Let's get on a backlog. I think they removed the protection that a lot of people were getting simply because they had the check. Um, I, I, I bet there's I still now. a difference, though, between the legitimate check and the paid for check. Oh, for sure. Uh, but I think even that's changed to a degree. Like the 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 legit check marks aren't as protected as they used to be. Was the quartering mm-hmm. a pay check mark? Did he have a check mark? I I don't know. I'm he sure. I don't, me I don't he think he's a big supporter. Mark. I don't think he had a, a, a like OG, an old school. Yeah, I was wondering if he he bought one or not because he was really a lot of all times. About Elon. <laughs> a lot of people got him back in the day because people were making impersonator accounts on them. Yeah, and then there was a bunch of people who had like a thousand followers, and they had one because they were like journalists. I got my oh, blue yeah. check mark when I had like five thousand followers, and I just sent it in myself. Yeah, that was and before they closed applications. Yeah, they, I got it. I literally got it within like five minutes of of applying for it. They too. closed applications at uh, like for years and years. I think they reopened them last year or something like that. Yeah. Wild, yeah. wild. And they were reopening them just long enough for them not to matter. Yeah. Yeah, that buyout was very unexpected. That kind of came out of nowhere. Um, People are suggesting that you took the DMT, Ben. I've never taken DMT. I Thank would admit you. it if I had. Thank you. I just I, I did a stream with Cobra the other night where I admitted to all kinds of drugs. If I did DMT, I would definitely admit that. Ethan Ralph said this right before typing out his email password live. <laughs> what is this? Why have you written off the USA? I just don't like the USA anymore because of psychos like you and because you can easily find me, but when I'm in Mexico, you can never find me. <laughs> I just walk around Mexico as the fat, stylish gringo that... The, like, so how many maker marks is this deep? He's so slump, like slumped down. The fat, stylish gringo. Nobody fucks with. Nobody cares about at all. Yeah, you know how many times he's been beaten up in Mexico? Zero. We don't think any. Yeah, he looks fine. This is foreshadowing, though, because right after he said this, I guess he like read his email password out loud while typing it. Oh no! And then then they got into his email and saw where he lived and everything. That sucks. Uh oh. And I barely tell him doxes what, himself. Yeah. I, do. I, just I know. Him Final like, act. Whatever. There's no voter registration. Like, look up. There's nothing. There's literally no way. There's for no you age of consent. <laughs> except for getting doxed by a family member, which Pantsu's father and or sister, unfortunately, did do that. But uh, I moved in two days. And now you have no clue where I'm at again. Once again, once again, you have no clue where I am. Is he just staying in a, a like a resort or something down there? Look for the biggest purchaser of Maker's Mark. That's where he's at. He can move in two days. Sounds like he's hotel to hotel or something. Yeah. yeah. Airbnb. Something like that. 
Airbnb. Airbnb. Taco Bueno. Taco Bueno. We're going to Taco John's, taking a huge Wyoming shit, Cheyenne, Wyoming, home of Taco John's. There's a whole lot of Mexican going on. Taco John's. Get the potato Olays and shit yourself at Taco John's. <laughs> That's the Olay. Because, like, you know, when the fucking, uh, when the matador, like, pulls his thing, like, his cloak out of the way? That's what your butthole does. They call it the oil Olay! of Olay. The oil of Olay. It starts dripping out. It's icky. Uh, Scott has replied, this fucking guy. <laughs> Ooh. Smarty says, sounds like he's pilled up. He's in Mexico. He's probably getting over the counter scripts- scriptures. He's probably getting the like the homemade stuff. He's got like homemade yeah. oxys or something. He's just benzoed up like a motherfucker out there. I won't name any names, but there was a guy who, who does YouTube um, that I was hanging out with one time. Adam from You Movie Sucks. And he gave... No. This was a long time ago. Jeff Holiday. No. And he gave me these, like, all uh, all trams, which are like... Uh, Mr. Beast. He Wolfie. gave me these all... I'm not going to say it, so quick guessing. These all trams... They were. He said they were all trams, but he said he got them from Mexico and he ordered them online. And I took one and I was wasted. I was... Th- I'm thinking maybe it might have been fentanyl. <laughs> Honestly, like... Because it was, I was trashed off of it. Can't believe Mr. Repsion and Oronision gave you fentanyl. I it was crazy. can't believe it. It was Mr. Repsionision. <laughs> Mr. Repsionision. Beast. Beast. It was Elton John. Beast. It was in the. I. It was not Elton John. <laughs> it was no. I think Elton John qualifies as a YouTuber. It was Ethan Ralph. All this time. OBC on. That was my name when I was collabing with OBC on. That was our OBC. That was our ship name. <laughs> That's OBC on. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna exploit this lawsuit and make content out of it. Like oh, they're sure. literally they're literally just helping him by doing this because it's mm-hmm. not gonna go through. It's a ridiculous lawsuit. I saw. So they're I never wasting- made a video. And the title was Onision's finally screwed or something. I wonder if it actually talked about it at all. Uh, Repsion made a video about it. And he said it was b- BS. No, I think he's like, dude, this is crazy. Like, I, I think he's. It's wishful thinking on his part. the The yeah. lawsuit is ridiculous. The lawsuit is completely ridiculous. Did you get poppers from Milo Yamalopoulos many poppers. years ago? That's what people are saying. It was Milo Yamalopoulos that gave you those drugs. They were poppers. That's not poppers. Oh, yeah, you guys are wrong. Then it's not Milo, yeah, Milo Yamalopoulos. Wasn't ever a YouTuber, was he? Uh, yeah, he was kind of. Uh, oh, okay, but yeah, I, these weren't poppers. Yeah, Milo this got famous like... doing the uh, the YouTube. I can't think of a this YouTube was, trend. This was, was it was given to me and claimed yeah, to be I'm this fucking guy. I meant what I said. I'm doing something that I've never done in previous actual manias, and I'm probably going to regret it. Okay. All right, we'll see. Are you getting a tattoo of Scott so, Henson on your face? I was told that they were all trams and that they were bought online th- from Mexico, which is all tram is like a very, very low level o- opioid drug. It's like they'll give that to you if you have like dental surgery for pain or like f- fibromyalgia or something like that. And I've taken them before, and they were just kind of mellow. And I took these, and I got super trashed. So I was like, whoa, like thinking, like, what is this? And I'm thinking maybe it was, like, cut with fentanyl or something. Pewdiepie pie gave you fentanyl. Pewdiepie. Mm-hmm. pie. It's fucked up. Pewdiepie. pie. Yep. Yeah, so. Guy blow Yama popper laps. Popper laps. Prolapse. Anal nitrate. Anal nitrate. I love that anal nitrate. So we're going to wrap it up in just a minute here. Mm-hmm. I Thank you guys for helping us out and getting us to 35%. We're going to do another stream tomorrow. So don't forget to check back with us tomorrow and join the Discord and send me some content for tomorrow, too. Ben Please. already said he would, not, he would not tell on Pimp Monk for giving him that fentanyl, guys. 
It was not Pimp Moon. Well, I was told it was all tram, but oh. it, it fucked me up so much. I'm like, what is this? The only time I've ever done fentanyl knowingly was when I was in the hospital and the, like I just had a surgery. I had like a double hernia surgery a couple years ago and they dosed me with fentanyl at the hospital and it fucked me up. Um, but everybody wash your buttholes. Yep. You never know when Trumpster Bob is going to challenge you. Mm hmm. Do it for Trumpster Bob. That goes double for us. You liquid skelly Ben, myself. It's double for us. Well, I don't really have a butthole to wash, but I'll, I'll think of them. You better. You guys are all going to feel bad trolling me about a dog dying when my dog dies, and my dog's really old, and I've been doing a lot to take care of her recently. So, you know, you, you think just they will? pile on. What if they're, what if they're evil? What I, if they're, I think they're evil either they're way. they're heartless people? Our fans are not evil. Mm -hmm. Then why are you posing that question? I just wondered. <laughs> I have to ask. <laughs> okay. I'm a journalist. No, you're not. Part of my job here on Drunken Peasants you're is asking the tough questions. Mm -hmm. It's part of my job here. We are going to end the show now. Here we go. Good night. All everybody. right. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>